Yeah. It just took a sec. Um, it takes a while for us to get on the... Good morning. New I w- update thing. I will fix it. I'll Good fix... Good morning. You'll fix what? I know. I just need a sip of coffee. You do. That's a biggie. Yeah. That's the size above venti. So I go from biggie. decaf to like, this is my second biggie. Biggie, biggie. And it, your cup matches your sweater. I just figured it out. That was planned, Tracy. You are amazing. Fashionistas have cups that match their outfits. Thank that you. must be you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Amanda. Amanda, you're up early. E. I guess it's not super early. Why do I feel like it's 5 a.m.? Um, good morning, Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like we should go back hi, a hi. little bit. No? Always. I always feel like that. But I feel like we haven't changed it. I don't, well, it, I don't know. Okay, that's better. That's good. There. Hello from Oakland. Yes, Amanda, I'm wearing some sequins. It's been a while since I've worn sequins. I missed it. Good morning. Good morning, Lloyd Minster in the house. Woo woo. Guess what the dog ate? <laughs> oh, you guys. Jody. It's kind of my fault because I put it on the table. All your fault. Not kind of. Without it being in a in a closed retainer holder. Yes. But I went looking for it yesterday morning on my way out the out the door for work and I found a piece at the back door. The dog chewed it. I thought you were going to say you were picking up dog poop Mm-mm. and found half of your tooth. You know what the nice thing about it is, though? I did take it with me because I actually found the second piece. I just, like, she just broke it. Um, our fire, the oh. batteries are out of our fire detector, which happened at 4 a.m. this morning. Oh, lovely. So it might, I should maybe run up and see if I can turn something off. Yeah, it's been fun this morning already. Um, okay, tell us about your tooth. BRB. Okay, so I thought I left it where I sit and knit in the evening. And I went back yesterday morning on my way out the door. And it wasn't there. I checked him or I checked it, And I went back there thinking, I know I left it there. Ta- <laughs> BRB. Time got away, and I thought, I just got to go to work. But by the back door, you guys, was half of it. And then I found the other half. But the good thing is, is they think they can use the teeth off it. It's all gross. Whatever. So now I'm like this um, till Monday. I guess the only, and ultimately, who cares, right? Who cares? But it's funny. I don't, I don't really care. But um, only you. No, I don't care. Did you do something? No, but I just mean only you. No, did you push a button? Yes, I pushed a button. Deactivate. Oh, good. Hopefully. Good. Yeah. I thought it was a break in. I thought I was gonna Ooh, have to and push. I wonder if this phone call was them. I thought I was gonna have to push you in front of me and run ba- <laughs> out the back door. I did notice the panic look in your eyes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I didn't even unpack you guys. Oh. Like 4 a.m., the beeping of the fire alarm out the bedroom door, and then you're like groggy-eyed, rooting through the drawer. Of course, I don't have batteries. I don't have them right now. Okay. So but I, is it, that's on my agenda today. Get batteries. Is it also the same sound as an intruder? I don't know. I've never had an intruder. Like it's I don't an know. alarm. No, I think it's a different sound because I have had the fire thing go oh, off before, okay, and good. that's really scary. Good, good. Anyway, mm. ridiculous. Okay, you guys, we're uh, here. Happy Thursday. It is. It's Happy Thursday, October twelfth. Tomorrow's Friday the thirteenth, which means you're going to the Taylor Swift concert movie. Yes, I am. I noticed she started last night somewhere. They got to it's see it already. It's always Thursdays. Oh, okay. It does say, but it's like Thursday. I I don't know what it is, but I think it's like Thursday evening oh. on the day of release. Oh. Previous. Oh, okay. Because we've gone to a movie when they said, oh, the Barbie movie. It was released Friday, whatever okay. day in July, but tickets started going for sale for Thursday, like evening? dinner on. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. So are you excited to go? That's your afternoon tomorrow. Hey, yes, it is. But I, I realized, you guys, it's three hours. Oh, take a blanket. Take a project. I'm going to take a nap if I have to. Anyway. And... Yeah, I would like to go. I'm going to go. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be fun. And your Jordan is such a fan. It's going to be so fun to go with her. I don't call it a guilty pleasure because, I don't know, I just love it. But I do love canned nacho cheese, warm nacho cheese from the movie theater. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, I... Yes! Nachos all day. Okay, well, there you go. Beatrice, good morning. Uh, There you go. You're going to have... You're going to get to fill your wish... Fill your boots with nacho cheese. You guys, how's your week? How's your two weeks been? Well, it's gone in a flash. Busy. I Super started, busy. I finally, after weeks and weeks, cast on a sweater. I can't wait to see Jody. I cannot wait to show you guys, and I haven't wanted to do anything else. I love, okay, that's the sign of, like, yeah. an epic project. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a finished object. I have a sweater that you guys haven't seen yet. And I have a swatch for a new cast on coming up. So I'm excited. Yes. I'm super excited about my knitting at the moment. Um, happy Canadian Thanksgiving it just was, passed. It was. Um, I made a turkey. It was juicy. <laughs> it was good. Turkey. Oh, my God. You pushed the wrong button. No, I didn't. But they like to. Um, I don't know what's going turkey on. Turkey isn't my favorite. I don't I dislike it. it, but it's not my favorite. I would rather a chicken, I think. That's what Georgia says. I really don't see there's a huge difference. Tracy. There's not a huge difference. We should do a taste test. Yeah. 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 Um, Colleen's working on her tessellated vest. You go, Colleen. You go, girl. It That's takes a while. A long term, she said it's very slow. It takes a while, but you're going to love it, and you're going to look super cute in it. And I feel the same about mine. I'm all positive about it today. Once in a while, I like to kick that project bag, but most days I just want to knit it and get it done. Good morning, Miss Anne. I'm looking forward to wearing it. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Good morning, Star. If I get another phone call from this 1-800, I might have to leave. Just answer it. I will answer it. Just say, yeah. And Um, then they're like, what's your alarm code? Oh, geez. I've actually heard deep... I'm sorry. Deep fried turkey. Yeah. And smoked turkey. Well, smoked turkey. Don't you remember having that in Disneyland? No. Oh, turkey legs. So good. Really? They were, Yeah, they were delish. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I do love a, di- a dinner, like a family get-together Yeah, dinner, I do too. So. Of, of course, always. Yeah. Okay, so nice. we're into October. We're way into October. Somebody just said it's a week till Rhinebeck. So happy almost Rhinebeck really? to you guys that are heading out. Yeah. One week? Mm-hmm. You oh, guys, Joyce says she's going to be wearing her tessellated pullover, whether it's done or not, at Rhinebeck. I actually think the tessellated pullover, because it's drop sleeve, mm-hmm. it would be really cute without the sleeves. It would be. Yeah. It would be. Even just pick up and do a little bit of ribbing there. Yeah. Yeah. Super yeah. cute. But I actually, when we gone to events like, like Rhinebeck, mm-hmm. um, when they have people walking around with needles or like just their half finished sleeve or whatever, it's so cute. Mm-hmm. So I love that. Because as knitters, we appreciate and we totally get where you are. Mm-hmm. And we know you worked as hard as you could to get it done. And then things happen. So totally. it's adorable. If you're almost finished, wear it anyway. Wear it anyway. Yeah. Wear it with one and a half sleeves. Some people wear it with needles. Some people just put mm-hmm. it on waist yarn. But it's hilarious. And it's going to be super great either way. Penguono. That does have a million ends. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. You know, I like weaving in an end. My instant crush that I just finished had that. And normally I'm a weave in the ends as I go, girl. Yeah, like are. I'll leave a couple of inches and then come back and do it. I did not for some reason. I was just loving the knitting and I didn't stop a, a lot. And this project that I'm going to be starting, a lot of ends I figured out. Really? I don't know what's going on. I should run up there and do something again. Um, I do want um, to give a shout out today. Okay. Um, we have a friend of the podcast, um, Debbie Bancroft. Debbie. It's your anniversary. And your husband reached out and said... What a sweetie. Deb's been watching and she really enjoys 
you two and all your shenanigans. What? So I thought I would reach out and see if you would give her a shout out. Well, so happy this anniversary is anniversary to you both. Shout out. Happy anniversary. Have a great day, you guys. Yeah. Mwah. That's so cute. Ooh, I wonder if you'll get yarn for your anniversary. We yeah. just had an anniversary. You did? We did. 18 years. I was going to ask you how long. Jody. Yeah. What? No one's as surprised as I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's lots. Yeah. It is. Wow. Second husband. So like I still. practiced a little bit. Still. Yeah. No, yeah, it it's good. not 18 years cumulative. It's the same guy. Right. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. Okay. Um, I got to go. Our and Max, my oldest kid, also had a birthday on the. Listen, listen, Linda. This year, my anniversary fell on Thanksgiving Sunday. So we hosted the kids over, and it was you know you're busy through the weekend, and then it's Max's birthday the next day. So it was it's a crazy weekend. Our anniversary usually gets kind of put on the back burner which is totally fine. And a lot of times we'll go up to the mountains for a weekend. We'll celebrate in our own way um, another weekend. So that's what we did this weekend. But it was, it was so fun having the kids over. The weather was amazing. It was... I don't know. Gosh, this weekend was like in the 20, low it 20s. It was so gorgeous. So we were hosting, we were cooking turkeys. It, I felt like it was a really good weekend. It was. I knit. Yeah. I actually am going to throw my husband, who's awesome, under the bus right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, and I'll back it up. Okay. Whatever he said, you know I'm right. Yes. Um, I kept saying how amazing the weather is. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, and I always say to him, I love fall. And in the summer, he goes, stop rushing it. Summer's my favorite. I love summer. And he's been coming home going. This weather is amazing. These are some of the best days we've had. And I was like, this is fall. Fall is your favorite. Stop trashing Shut fall. Shut up, Jeff. Stop trashing fall. See, I was, see, you just had to wait so you could know Jeff that I was on. correct again. Yes. So, but you, guys, you love fall. So stop fighting we do it. love fall. Although Jeff really loves hot. He does. He does. So no wonder he's like on a hot summer but day. But he goes, these are some of the best days we've had. To, you know, get out in the yard or golfing or whatever. And I was like, this is fall. So it is the best. We've had incredible days lately. Totally. And I mean, it, now it's going to be 15, but I'm okay with that because mm. sweater weather. Hello. The other day, my front door, you can see from the front to the back of my house, but it was open and the, the, like the, the leaves breeze. were... Oh. And like I'm on a curve, so it was like you saw the houses, you saw leaves, you saw a woman walking her dog. I thought I was in a movie. Right. Magical. It was so nice. Gilmore Magical. Girls. I felt like I was. I said to Jordan, "Did you watch that series?" Oh yeah. Did you not? No. Yeah, I don't know that you'd love it. I started to watch it. Mm -hmm. It was okay. It didn't like pull me in. I'm surprised you watched the whole thing. Do you know? I'm I surprised am. I watched the whole thing I am. too. I not that I didn't love it. And I will probably watch more of it. I mean, I don't know why it didn't grab me at the time. Yeah. I think timing is, is something. Too Doesn't that mom not remind you because that mom's a real bitch and our mom is, is she? not? She can be real. Which mom? No, I didn't watch enough to know what you're talking um, about. She can be a little, um, I don't know, high strung or whatever. That Lorelai person? But no, the mom. No, I don't know. Her, her. mom. Not her personality. Oh, wait a sec. I think I but know her who you're talking looks, about. she always reminded me of mom. Oh, just to look at. Yeah. Our mom's not like that. No, if our she's mom a is meanie. not like that. If she's a meanie. Okay, well, now I've got to go back and okay. see what you're talking about. So, mom and dad are in Phoenix. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> you were telling me that they have no internet. They're changing their providers, and it's going to take a few days to get I'm only to the passing on the message okay. I got. So, I texted dad a question about work. Yeah. And he's like, I'm using the internet in my car to oh. text you. But I'm thinking, you have 3G. You have 5G. Right. They, they, yeah. You could tell him he can go on data. You can still stay on the couch. He's so, they're, they're adorable. so funny. They are funny. So and listen, I have nothing to say because tech can be like the bane of my existence. I totally get being confused by it. So whatever. Go on data. Pay for it. Well, I'm sure he's got unlimited data on his plan. 
he, which he may not know about. Well, and it's the U.S. per day. You're going to max out at like $12 a day. Right. As soon as you click on for half a second. It's, for six days, it. you're okay paying that's $12. So it's so, so funny. Sweet. Oh I'm using God. my Wi-Fi in my car. <laughs> that's the way to solve the problem. Oh, my God. I thought it was funny. It is hilarious. Uh, the dog ate. Yes. Star. Um, Good morning. When you said, how is the two weeks? The last two weeks, Jody, there have been bundles and bundles and bundles of raffle prizes coming in the door for breast cancer. The breast cancer are Your pile. It's piles like that giant pile is not me hoarding. That is people's generosity. It has been unbelievable. Um, we are October 21st is the start of with Louie and Lola Yarns and the Thread and Maple Ladies. It's the start of Knit for the Girls 2023. Um, it's just been amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing what has been showing up at the door. I can't even. I agree. I'm going to buy some raffle. Right. Hopefully win a prize. Yeah. Put your, get, your donations, a get your donations in there. We'll have... Listen, we I have we have to do the whole like put things together next week and take photos and stuff. I think there's going to be some days with three three people winning. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So really? thank you, thank you. Oh, Jody. Okay, like, so next, so much. Next week we'll be able to do that um, together. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Jackie. Um, I see. Sometimes I see the comments, you guys, and sometimes I don't. No. But okay, um, I also had trouble. So I had some feedback. With chats, live chat playback. Oh, after the podcast oh. is published to YouTube, and I kind of did a bit of a dive, and I was trying to troubleshoot. And? I couldn't get them either. Maybe sometimes YouTube is glitchy. YouTube has done this new update, even with us signing on yes. to the live video. So I'm I'm trying to to tweak it. So we'll see if that works. Well, yes. Okay. So if you're someone that loves to watch the live chat later, we'll try and figure that out. I just also want to shout out Kathy James. We got a really nice email from Kathy. And you know, when people take time out of their day not to, criti <gasps> yes. not to criticize, oh, not that we get yes. a ton of those, but usually we get, if you're going to get anything, usually it's one of those angry Kind well, of. sometimes I, I feel don't like love we're what really you say. Lucky with yeah. that. But yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. And yes, we should shout out Kathy. And she it took was the time to very heartwarming yes. and very kind. Yeah. And you know, it's been a little crazy. And you just honestly, you have no idea what that that email meant, right? Most emails mean work or problems or whatever and mm -hmm. this was the total opposite of that so it's nice to get it and not have a task to do with it after you're yeah. right because you know we're so busy with work Tracy's so busy behind the scenes with I mean all the ordering I feel like I'm doing something wrong <laughs> anyway I need yes. an assistant Kathy's email was a joy to receive it is and read it was yeah um what else was it? Oh, shoot. I had something in my head. And that's, this is like the same thing. Like my husband at work said the same thing. There was, you know, a lot of people like to complain. And I get it. We all get it. We're all dissatisfied. You have to communicate to try and hopefully yeah. facilitate a change to make things better for a lot of people. But there was a lady that came in with the opposite, with a huge compliment. And it's literally... a. You know, holiday weekends can be crazy. Grocery shopping, everybody needs groceries. Some people are not happy. Um, but this lady made his whole weekend. Like, there was a lot of, you know, there's complaints about certain things. You guys, we had a turkey recall Thanksgiving weekend. I, you know, I'm sure you can imagine what a nightmare that I would be. I can't even with that. So this lady that came in with this huge compliments and, What did know, she say? Just great customer service. Yeah, she'd had a really bad experience at another name? store. She said, I know Jody's here, but I'm coming to shop here <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, that's so No, nice. she was great. Like she just said, this other store has turned me off and you guys were so great and I'm, you know, here forever. I'm, And it just makes, it makes someone's day. So I love that. Mm -hmm. I also saw a video. I know we have to get to knitting. I totally do. But I also saw a video on my Instagram feed and I think it was from our friend, Gay yeah. from GG made it. Yeah. And there was a video from a young man who was raised to have great manners and, and opening doors for people 
And that was the way he, and it was just instinct. Of course you're going to hold the door open for people. Moved to LA and he was doing that. And he said, people were just rude. It was a totally different culture. Um, people didn't do that anymore. And one day he was the guy not holding the door open. And the lady said, you're just going to let the door close on me. And he's like, you know, I don't hold the door open for thanks or for me. He said, that's just who I am in my mm. nature. And I just thought to myself, yeah, like it goes a long way. It goes a long way to be kind in big ways, small ways, ways you don't even know. I always, if I can, when I experience someone that I am getting either a service for or ordering some or have com I have direct contact with, I always try and make it memorable, mm. which means I always like to either compliment or ask them about themselves yeah. or like really like, right. how was your day? Are right. you in school or whatever? How's it going? Because you never know. And I always say, you never know what's happening. You don't. And in a world today, it's amazing yeah. that kindness goes a really long way. Yeah. 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 There was a lady at the store the other day and I'm pulling in with my buggy of groceries. We're kind of pulling in at the same time. She had about a one month old newborn baby in her stroller and then a big basket full of groceries. And she's like, oh no, you were here first. I said, excuse me. Like, <laughs> I don't have a newborn baby. I have nowhere to be. I would, you, it's your turn. Do you please mm -hmm. go? She goes, oh, thank you. I've had like no sleep. Totally. Right? We, like she yes. had to come out. She had to get food. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just not a, right. it shouldn't be such a thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I, I do love seeing the, the reminders of things like that. I do too. Okay. Okay. Totally off topic. Uh, but do you want to um, talk about knitting? Jody, all day. Tell us what you're wearing. Like all day, every day. You want to know what I'm wearing? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my happiest sweater. This is the Lento, which is a pattern on Ravelry by Yona Hitala. I, I hope I'm even close at pronouncing her name right. Um, um, it's how a, embarrassing it's Jonah. It prob <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I apologies always if I get it wrong. I love the pattern. The pattern is amazing. It's a larger gauge raglan pullover. Mm -hmm. um, it does have a folded collar, which I chose to just do single because I was kind of cheating for time. And instead of raglan, the typical make one left, make one right, I just decided to do yarn overs. Mm -hmm. Um, because my yarn was kind of exciting and I just wanted to zhuzh it up a little. And my yarn is sock yarn. It's Mondim sock yarn plus um, La Enemy Yellow Brick Road Mohair plus, plus a ball of sequins. It's so, like how, I've had. Like these are the sequins. They're rainbow. That's the exact sequin. With gold. Okay. I just want to point out, look at how it looks on there, and you think, there's no way I would knit this into a garment. Right. But you hold it with mohair. And it's color on color, you guys. Yeah. You don't see... Oh, I love it. It's it truly so is one of my happiest, happiest sweaters. It's super blingy when you see it in person. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, and you can get all of these sparkles, like all the sparkles of your dreams, at the Crafty Jackalope. She's the one that got us hooked on sparkles. Um, and I just love the yellow. I would love another yellow sweater. It's good. There's so many, di there's so many different colors of yellow. I don't love every color of yellow, yeah. but these dirtier and I like kind of mustard, like must French is yes. mustard, love. right? Yeah. It's my Poupon sweater. <laughs> you pooped on your sweater? Mm. Jody. Uh, and Amanda says the bling bar is open. She has so many sequins mm -hmm. and sparkle options. It's not even funny. Um, I just hadn't worn this for a while, and I thought I, I really it. wanted to. Um, but that's old news. You have new news. This? This old thing? It also comes under um, the size inclusivity con a conversation we're going to have a little bit later. But um, this was knit by um, Sheila. Okay. Who is Sheila Knits. Um, it came DHL yesterday, and no I way. couldn't open it fast enough no way this is a shop sample we wanted to incorporate actually jordan picked these colors and she wanted this big. tell me all about okay, it okay so i am going to tell you what sweater it is first let me bring up what sheila said it's the basic b sweater 
and it can. That is so perfect for you. Mm, it can't be found on Ravelry, but it can be on undash told um, website. Um, not all of her sweaters are in English. Oh. Um, I, be- I believe they're Norwegian. Okay. But this one in particular is. It's a super cash cute. Yeah. It's yeah. drop shoulder, you guys. Let me show you. Black and gray. Or gray. A stuff gray and black. That's pretty. <laughs> I'll get it. I'm going to just stand up and show you. It is. So when you guys. When you have a drop shoulder like this. Oh, it that's ma- a good sweater. It makes it just like it's a big square. And then you, oh, with all the ease, you guys. So this is um, fingering held with Surrey. It feels so soft. Um, this is Frankie Gray Fiber Yarn. This is Lavender Haze and Barbie Girl. So good. So good. But what I didn't realize, and we'll chit-chat about that a little bit more, but what I didn't realize, it's really not a size inclusive pattern. So we're not going to kit this exact sweater. Okay. We will find a sweater that's next to, you won't be able to tell, but we want to make sure it's really important here that we are size inclusive agree, and we totally. promote size inclusive patterns. So um, uh, be on the lookout. We will, I will let you know when this is, uh, when we found the perfect pattern it's so nice. I haven't knit a drop with. shoulder sweater for a long time. Listen, Sheila got this yarn, you guys. Not three weeks ago. No way. She's a wicked fast knitter. Well, the sweater is gorgeous. I love how the last stripe is all ribbing on your arms. Yes. <gasps> yes. Right? Like, that is such a great look. It's a real shame that it isn't because this, I couldn't. Because you know when you're sending it, when you don't, you're not trying it on and you say, I would like, you know, if you fall between like a 54 and a, or a 53 and a 55, somewhere in there. In like a uh, circumference? Finished, for the- yeah. Because <clears throat> I, you know, want X amount of positive ease. Right. You kind of are crossing your fingers, right? That I hope that's going to, I hope with this design that it's going to work. Well, as soon as we put it on, it was amazing it looks perfect it looks like the absolute perfect sweater on you it's so good do you like you want one for yourself and do yes and do you know the softness level of surrey compared to mohair i know why why don't meet more people use surrey i totally agree i think part of the reason is there's way more yardage in mohair you get about a hundred they're about the same price Mm -hmm. but surrey's got maybe a quarter less yarn which can add up for sweaters but I totally agree Surrey is so soft and there are some mohairs that are softer but honestly mohair to me it's not itchy but it does have more of a prickle factor than Surrey Surrey has no but I'm trained to like I don't it doesn't bother me at all Mm -hmm. and I love it but comparing a sweater to Surrey is like Night and day. No. It's super bunny. Forget about it's it. It's like bunny soft. Yes. That's a really good description. Even though there's no bunny in it. No. But it is so incredibly, mm-hmm. you know, alpaca soft. It's alpaca, you guys. Yeah. Oh, so good. I anyway. love it. It's gorgeous. Sheila's a master. Look at that sweater. Thank you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to chatting a little bit about size inclusivity. It's something we've been like personally talking about for a long time so I love I love that we're gonna bring it here yeah and you know just very quickly I kind of got out of like really making sure every pattern I was looking at was a size inclusive pattern right that's not what we're kind of trained to look for our own size yes and at the same time if that goes against what we totally stand for and what we believe in as people right so yeah I'm looking forward to that chat I'm looking forward to it <clears throat> okay. Do you have any knitting to show? Mm-hmm. Do you want to start? Do you want me to start? Sure. You guys. Jody. What the heck? So, let me tell you. Hold this. Gas. Hold the phone, please. So, I was looking. I've gotten so many of this these. This is for me, right? Look yep. at it. <laughs> Jody, this, no. You see. Durerum <gasps> Natura Gilead, which is their worsted weight. It's a woolen spun yarn. 
I have gotten so many darn colors of this, you guys, that I thought... How many? Darn. Oh. I probably have 28 colors. Embarrassing. Good thing you love it. It's not embarrassing. You can make a lot of sweaters and hats and mitts and... Um, okay, you have a problem. But here's the thing. I was looking and look like literally for weeks on what pattern I'm going to knit. Um, and I just figured, why not just a stripe? Totally. Um, so I had been looking for a size inclusive pattern. I wanted to um, have, you know, the shape that we love, the really effortless, um, lots of ease shape. And I came across this first this raglan great sweater. Pattern. It's by Jared Flood of Book, who is Brooklyn Tweed Yarn, and it is a worsted weight pattern. I cannot tell you how amazing this is. Yeah, it's a great one. I didn't know about it. Yeah, I think we shared it when it came out. Yes, and I forgot. And yes. I kept saying to myself, "I'm totally going to get some shelter and knit this pattern up." It's worsted weight. I think that's just such a great weight of yarn for someone that is just starting to knit a sweater yeah it's not too fine it's not too chunky you know you're gonna get it done in a good amount of time i think it is also uh, what i would say is a walkthrough tutorial of a, your first time sweater it's like a class um if anybody is looking and if they haven't before worsted is an excellent weight to start mm -hmm. kind of that dk worsted because it's not slow right it flies off your needle and one of the features in this is you're supposed to find as you go, you find where your size fits and plug in those numbers. So the only thing you're seeing are your sizes. So not confusing visually yeah. as you're walk, you know, going through the pattern to knit your pattern. Yeah. It's only one step. It doesn't take very long at all to fill in the pattern for yourself. Let me tell you what else. 11 sizes. Hugely size inclusive. You're going to find real petite to all full see, figured shapes. You're going to find beautifully illustrated schematics. You're going to find amazing check-in numbers as you go. So it's not going to be a surprise. Oh my gosh, I got here. Right. And I'm out 25 stitches. So this is 35 and a half inches to 75 and a half inch yeah. chest circumference. And then everything else is kind of easily modified for the length of your body or the length of your sleeves. That's very, you know, we can all change that to whatever works for us. But the pattern's giving you numbers to knit all of those circumferences. That's um, amazing. There is also, I want to I make note of this because I think this pattern is incredible. And I want to just note, you guys, there is also a companion pattern with this. And by that, I mean you're going to get two downloads. One is the pattern I just showed you, and the second one is what they're calling a companion to the pattern, mm. and it is going to give you modifications. Now, it's going the one mod it's going to give you is body shaping. This is a very square, boxy shape. If that's not what you like, then you're going to go to this modification, and you're going to figure out you're going to do their walkthrough on how yeah. to shape the body. The second one is a tapered sleeve. This one has, if you can see, less tapering by the schematic. There's next to no um, decreases only here when you get to the ribbing on your cuff. It's like shaped like a sweatshirt. Yes. So if you want anything different than that, they've got they still got you covered, right? Yeah. yeah. And so here, if you notice with this schematic, look at the sleeve. It's a much more tapered. You can see the shadow opposed to the original pattern. Yeah. I can't even, I know. Like $5 I know. for this pattern. It was? Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. It is. And you think, oh, I want to try a striped sweater, but I don't know what to do. They've also got you covered. Like they're going to show you, this is how you do the stripes. Five US dollars, you wow. guys, is unheard of for a sweater wow. pattern, especially with as many walkthroughs and mods as you find in here, it's an amazing pattern. It is. And they've also got a great YouTube channel with so many tutorials for so many yeah. techniques. Like even if you're not knitting their patterns, 
you can learn so much. But I do think this would be, when people say, you know, what's a good first pattern, a good first pattern, this would be. This is now on my list. This would actually be a great one for a, a local yarn shop to do a your first sweater knit along. Right? Or a class. Love it. Or whatever. Yeah. And and there's so much information. That's awesome. So, Jody, you're doing okay. the original? So I'm doing the original because I like, you know, more ease, more box, Yeah, more you better. want it, like, comfy. Yeah. Um, and what I'm doing is, as I'm hoping, I was originally hoping that I didn't have to repeat the stripes. I might have to repeat a few. Okay. But, but. I'm not just throwing them together willy-nilly. No. There's thought to it. Hey, Linda, how are you doing it? So did you lay out I'm the balls of like yarn? <laughs> did you lay out the balls yes. of yarn? Yeah. Only because I know I've, I've come, I've knit something before and I thought, I wish I had planned color right. sequence better. And you don't have to. If you just like grabbing whatever color, no. it's great. Right. That it'll be fun. But if you... If you only had five, then you could just put the five in the order you like. But it is color placement can change the mood of something mm. for me, for sure. Right? Totally. So you wanted obviously high contrast because it seems yeah. like that's what's and happening. For no, I, nothing else. I would like to tell you there was more method to our madness when Jordan and I laid out all these balls of yarn. But it was kind of like we just I had them in a circle doing. and we were just like, oh, I don't love that there. And we just kept kind of playing with it and that, I love it that's all we did I love it I love 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 can we it. talk about this orange I know it's so good and it's so good with that deep maroon color yeah. you put after it yeah like that's like an autumny happening there right I I really love this I actually, portion up here a lot after I got Pink and gold, through yes. these and I thought I could just continue to repeat yeah because this is almost like um an indigo-y a denim -y, like eggplant yeah this is like a baby pink. The I old... love the idea you're going to have so many colors, so many stripes. Yeah. I really don't. Do you think you're going to have to repeat? Or could you just do super long ribbing? That I could do. It would be so fun to have a sweater where there's not one stripe mm -hmm. that's the same. But whatever. You know what I'm bummed about? It's going to be nice about it every way. This is what I should have done. And then, no, I wouldn't have had to repeat. This, I had cream. Remember that marl yeah, cream? Yeah. That oat? Yeah. I should have done cast on and just done the right. ribbing instead of exactly like 1.25 inches. Well, so just use use this as your... Do you know what I mean? Like I wish the oat was like the two and a quarter inches yeah. there. Yeah, I do. Because like then your... I could have done like an exaggerated four inch oat bottom. I, you know well, what? Well, like if you I, get actually, a couple more balls. Of... I actually think I'm going to pick this up and redo the ribbing on the neck. Okay. What, what, what was I supposed to remember when I'm knitting backwards? Pick up in between the stitches and oh, yes. when you're undoing your neckline, do it one stitch at a time. Like don't pick up what you think is everything around and then rip. Oh, because it's snip, not. Snip a stitch and grab one at a time as you're going oh. and do it upside down like this as you were working. Like you were knitting from here up, so make sure you're doing. The Do I same. start to unwind right here? No, on I, my I cast think, on edge. I don't think it'll unwind. I don't think it'll unwind. You literally either. just have to get in here, and snip one of these, and then yeah. as the green ones pop free, put them on waste yarn or a needle or whatever. Because but one I stitch at a time. This, in my experience, does not unravel well. The other way. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like if you're trying to unravel this. It's one this, stitch at a time rather than pulling. From here down, you can unravel no problem. All day, yeah. Yeah. But that's okay. just my experience. That's the Maybe only there's tricks. thing I would change. Well, and actually, I think I'm going to change that. I would. Boom. Why not? Okay, sweater you guys, surgery. This is fun, fun, so... fun. Isn't it funny? Yeah. I didn't stress. I didn't have a sweater on my needle for weeks. You really didn't. And I didn't stress. I, I also want to say there's so many worsted weight yarns out there that, you know, you can totally stash dive. I've always wanted to knit a sweater with that fisherman's wool that's at Michael's. It looks it, amazing. It is amazing. It's 100% wool. Yeah. And it's worsted weight. Yeah. Like you could, you could do so many different, of course, price points for these things. I really love the wide raglan here. 
instead of just, you know, one stitch oh, in the mid middle. This is something I also wanted to, to tell you guys. Good thinking. Uh, it's hard to tell in this picture because it's a very light picture, but there was actually six stitches in between the raglan. I switched it to four. Okay. I didn't want quite the exaggerated. I still liked that beautiful stripe yeah. on either side of the raglan increases. Yeah. But I did decrease. I didn't take out the stitches. I just only knit to two before. Like, sure. you know what I mean? But, sure. Um, I'm loving it. Jody, I'm so excited for this. I'm so glad you're knitting it. See, this is the thing. I buy patterns and then forget about them. Like, I bought that when it came out. It's such a good pattern. So good. Um, I just did an advanced search in Ravelry where you tone, you did it sweater and then you can do, like, one color. Yeah. Because I knew I didn't want color work. Right. Worsted weight, raglan, all and those I th things. I think Brooklyn Tweed can be known for, like, cables and fancy sweaters and... They're amazing and gorgeous, but it's so, such a smart idea to have yeah. the, you know, the blank canvas kind of sweater where now people can modify this if they want. I feel Or like... just knit this beautiful as it is. Yeah. I... I would like to knit it with the little poofy sleeve. Listen. Kind of actually like this. That's what I did with this one, but it looks so cute in wool. It's quite, it stands, keeps its shape. You can do kind of a little gathered. I love that. Yeah. Really cute. And, you know, there's not much different to the knitting at all. I'm also, I was, my gauge was a touch off, so I had to do our gauge math. So I'm knitting, I'm I'm looking at a size, one size smaller. What's I think your gauge? I think mine was 18 stitches. So this gate, this pattern is, is 20 stitches. 20 stitches. I mean, lots of people could even use DK for that. Of course. So even though it's knit in their worsted weight yarn. I feel like that gauge you can achieve with a DK weight yarn. This was originally knit in their Brooklyn Tweeds tones. Okay. That's worsted. Which, which is beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah. Love it. You guys, so fun. Okay, since you brought up gauge and sweater math, yeah. I feel like... Is it... Are we going there? We're going there. Okay. I have a project that I love, but that is the topic of the day with this one for me. Okay. Okay. This project I talked about, oh, I'm going to quickly just get this on these, this thing. Um, I mentioned that Caitlin Hunter had the autumn bloom sweater coming out, mm -hmm. which is like the cousin to the alpine bloom tee. You guys, I think it comes out next week. I don't know exactly what day it comes out, but the wait is almost over. The sweater is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I got permission to knit in a DK at a different gauge. So it is not a test knit. It was more of a preview knit situation. And I love that too, because people really like somebody's experience to hear about what they liked and what they didn't like maybe, or feedback right. about a new pattern. You're going to see so many sweaters come out, actual test knits. They're so gorgeous and mm. so perfect. Um, and here's the, oh, I'm never allowing myself to ever re offer for a test knit again. I feel like a horrible yeah. person. It's right. It's super I'm bad. Super elect, bad. Yeah. I should be on a list that's not allowed. Anyway, um, when you said we do our sweater math, very, you know, very often you and I will gauge swatch and think, oh, it's close enough in the pattern like this. 20 stitches in your pattern, but you got 18. It's no big deal because it's just plain stockinette. You're going to pick the size that has the right circumference around your chest, mm -hmm. right? You're getting four and a half stitches per inch and all of that. You go to the pattern and find the one that's going to fit you best. And I thought the same, I could do the same thing with this. So this is a bit of a revelation for me as I was knitting. What? I know. I love it though. Don't you love like working through something and going, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that. As you're knitting. I had a light bulb moment this last yeah, two Yeah, light bulb too. moment. Yeah. It's such a good one. Good thing to have happen. So if this were a plain knit sweater, as in not so much color work, Bob's your uncle. I was going to knit size three. I really wanted the size of size five. Done. No, like no changes. Just picking a smaller size. The thing, first of all, can we just appreciate how gorgeous it is? <laughs> Her, this motif is so pretty. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. 
So the, oh shoot, I don't know how much I'm allowed to show, but I'm gonna show these little bits. Um, these little things, there, there are changes in the pattern. It's so beautiful. Little, you're gonna have different cuffs. She had lace for the summer one. Nice. This is a different texture. It's so gorgeous. Let so me let see me see how much she showed. Now you can. I know. Me. I feel like I'm. You don't. On. Anyway. You're good. Don't. The stress. yarn I have cast on is Sonder Yarn Sunday Morning DK in their flannel color, which I love. It's like a warm burlapy color. I just think it's such a beautiful neutral. And then the color work for me is the fingering weight and mohair from Frankie Gray Fibers in sock and mohair, sorry, in black cherry. Yes. Love it. It's pretty. It's rich. It's such a mm -hmm. good color for the like colder months. Like I feel like it is such a beautiful fall and winter color. Okay, Laurel, who's in the test knit said, I can show it, so. Oh, good, Laurel, I can stop searching. Anyway, anyway that's so sweet. Um, her podcast is called Knit All The Things. She's a phenomenal knitter, and she's a real sweetheart to hang out with. Go see her beautiful sweater, because she did an autumn bloom. Um, okay, so I'm knitting along, loving it, loving it. It's perfect, there's nothing wrong. But as you can see, my yoke is quite deep already. And I still have half the chart to do. I see a light bulb. Right? We never really so, thought about that. Right. Because row is, gauge is really important. So yoke. not only are my stitches wider, my stitches are longer. So to get through the whole chart, your my yoke is going to be three inches deeper than the pattern intended. Which means your raglan separation will be quite below your armpit. There's a lot of sweaters that are like that, where it's exaggerated. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you can't do this. Just realize that the fit is going to be completely different. So there's basically three options, is what I was thinking. Knit it as written. Long yoke. It'll be one of those beautiful kind of dolman-looking sweaters. Mm -hmm. It will be gorgeous. What's dolman? That exaggerated? Yeah, okay. kind of where... And maybe that's the wrong word, but it's mm -hmm. sort of what I think of. Mm -hmm. But it would be a deep raglan that's hanging down a little bit more. Or you could knit to the depth of the yoke you like. As long as you get all the increases for your size. And you guys, it gets complicated. It gets complicated. Because then it, when you, where are you doing the color? Where's the or color rip charts? it out and start over and get gauge like you should have done in the first place. No, don't. Here's what I was thinking. When we buy a pattern and when we see it, design it's like we're starting down the road we're starting down the path and it we i've came to the fork in the road where i was like can i knit this off gauge and there's the yellow brick road this way and it's shiny and gleaming and easy and you can dance your way down the yellow brick road because caitlin has made a beautiful pattern she has solved every question all the test knitters have done their you know knitting and they know it works so mm -hmm. you can go down that road and knit it to pattern and be on your way with no questions. You, I feel like I'm off-roading. Like the f other fork in the road is like a jungle. You can barely get through. You've got to make all these decisions. And some people love that. I also feel like you're up for a challenge. I'll be honest with you. I did not consider the depth of the color work. I did. <laughs> I did. And yeah. I mean, if this yeah. were the same gauge, same difference with a shallow color work, I would be okay. Right? So it is just, I just wanted to tell you guys my little journey with this. Tell us, we're on pins and needles. I what are you going to do? I love the pattern. I think it is so beautiful. And Caitlin's patterns, you buy them and knit them the way they're written. They're amazing. They're gorgeous. They're fantastic. Everybody knows that. I mean, if you haven't knit a Caitlin Hunter pattern, I would say you should if you love her style. It's so, they're such great patterns. So I know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Here's my question. I know what you would do. Garbage. <laughs> no. Okay, I guess there's four options. What What if you decided that you wanted to split for sleeves sooner, but also wanted to finish the color work chart? Is there a way around that? Well, I was sort of trying to think about that too. And it's like you're basically designing your own sweater at that point. Mm -hmm. Right? Like that's... So if, you, if you're going to just knit the pattern, but split early you and still have to make sure all your stitches are on your knee you have to get through all the increases here's the other thing let me pose this to you 
a turtle dove is a very exaggerated, is a yeah. much more exaggerated raglan. And I put this against my turtle dove. And? And it would turn out very similar to that. So I can still follow the pattern as it's written. Do you feel like you're going to I do just that? know that it's not going to look the same as Caitlin's example or the test knitters. It's going to be a, a longer, deeper raglan. I still think it's going to be It's amazing. so beautiful. Are you going to continue? I just wanted to explain the whole thing. Like, this was Sunday for me. I'm knitting this Sunday morning going, but what about this? But what about that? But you're an idiot. You should just pull the whole thing out. Um, is there a section of color work you could leave off? And then it's like, this is, I mean, honestly, my advice to the knitters of the, the out there waiting for this pattern Get gauge, knit it. No, yeah, I don't agree. Yeah, I, I do. don't agree. Three inches, tri unless you're like if it's twenty four stitch gauge and you're twenty three stitch gauge, it won't be a giant difference, but it still could be like an inch. Difference is difference. And here's the thing: if you do this for yourself, if you were like off roading with a pattern, um, don't ever message the designer they've already done it for you um, at the gauge totally right? i would never expect right that. so don't ask questions this is a thing you do independently or maybe you're doing it with your knitting bffs asking questions but this is like there is a pattern that's the pattern they're not going to be re-evaluating at a different gauge here's the thing too i think this will be incredible finished keep going but I feel like if you have reserves it's not going to change the end game you know what the end game is going to be and if you already have reservations about what the end game sweater is going to be I haven't thought about it much since Sunday Tracy I think you have it's so stunning and so beautiful and that this gauge is so incredible well only because of the like if I had picked thinner yarns it would have been great too but I don't know that you would have knit it Wanted to knit it and fingering weight. Pardon me, fingering weight. I mean, yarn. and then that's the other thing. Maybe you have a gauge, you know, if you do a gauge swatch and you love that gauge swatch, then you can go to Ravelry and plug in that gauge and just look for sweaters that are already designed at that gauge. There's lots of sweaters designed at this gauge, right? Let's challenge. Oh, geez, where are we going? Caitlin. I no, no. For a DK. Mm, no. She already did. The easy V was like DK no, no. or worse. No, no, this. Jody. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like you would love and wear this a lot. But remember, we've talked about this before. When you have those inklings about a pattern and think, oh, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. I'm going to like it. Right. Chances are you probably. I feel like I see the whole picture at this point. I now know how deep my raglet, my yoke is going to be if I follow the whole chart. I now know that I have to for sure make sure you've got all the increases in your yoke so that you've got all enough stitches for your body. Um, I see the whole picture and it's just a matter of like, what do you do? How my advice is to gauge swatch and follow the pattern. A hundred percent. That is my but this is my tale of like my journey with this. Things I didn't think about. I did not think about how deep the color work was and then my how that would affect with my larger stitches. I also think if we stop challenging ourselves, yeah. we're gonna stop learning. Oh, that's what I mean. This I this You've has been a fantastic so much. I don't look at this and think, oh, you're you're an idiot. What a fail. I did not look at that at all. Do you have a lot more knitting left on your yoke? I just started the big flower. I'm actually my, okay, here are the options I'm considering. Finishing it all, the whole yoke chart, making it similar to like a turtle dove shape. But you will look at it and go, oh, that's the autumn bloom. I love it. My other option is that I'm considering, I could rip it out and start over, but I, I'm really getting serious about using my stash. I'm really getting like more than serious about it. So I have an idea. Okay. Reserve judgment until you're through the chart. 
and you can try it on. I my thought right now is to finish the my finish my chart just after the big flower and the bottom leaves leave the bottom leaves off. Oh, I was just going to say yes. And that will include all the increases. Yeah. So it will not be 100% an autumn bloom, but I think it's something that I'm going to like. And, and let me tell you, the stuff I have learned by doing this is a huge value. It really is. I love it. And let me just add this little note, C. Uh-huh. Where are we going? Easy mod if someone was to ask and say, I'm going to do this, anything you'd recommend. I will have... A, don't. Let me... T yeah, B, right? just leave the bottom leaves off. Right. Well, it, there's going to be a project page for this. And all <laughs> I've done different is finishing the chart early. I'm not doing a single thing different. My whole... I love that you're doing this and not me. My whole goal for this was just to knit size three to achieve a size five size and follow the pattern as written. I just didn't consider the length of the chart. And here's the other thing too. I'm not so sure me or the next gal guy would have realized, oh my God, my yoke is so much bigger. Until That's I'm why done. I'm sharing that, right? Until I'm done. And then go, this is not what I was anticipating. Right. I, listen. I, I'm I've, loving it, mm. but... Don't rip I it feel, out. I feel... Anyway, I have a lot of mixed feelings, but I think it is such a stunning sweater. Mm -hmm. I love this yarn so much that I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't think you're going to see the bottom leaves. I, no one would know that they were, weren't there. I know, but it's such a beautiful color work chart, mm -hmm. right? It, it's, mo you know, that is... But I think that's the modification I'm going to go for. So modifiers, beware in a color work yoke. If you're... a at you know a considerably larger gauge just consider that mm -hmm. there's a lot of sweaters that have um some, like bands of color work plus a couple of inches of stockinette mm -hmm. you know it goes the other way too if you were knitting this at a tighter gauge your yoke wouldn't be probably long enough for you would by the time you finish the chart you would have to add some stockinette rows before it's long enough to split so it does go both ways i'm just always going to be airing on the bigger side. Anyway. I love that. I do love sweater knitting. And this, here's the thing. I love this craft so darn much. I know. That I love stuff like this. Yeah, me too. I love that it was I geeked you. out over it. No. I was like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. People are going to need oh. to know that. People are going to need to know this. I know, I love it. Um, so you know what, if it's a little bit of a cautionary tale, but it's also a, it's really not the end of the road. You can make it work. It's just, how do you want the end result to be? I think I'm going to be able to live with no leaves. Yeah. I, hope, I hope I never run into Caitlin Hunter and she looks at it and she goes, where's the rest of your sweater? Listen. <laughs> Hello, Cecilia. Good morning. Anyway. Okay. Another last little thingy about super high contrast like this I before I started I did little butterflies of both yarns mm -hmm. and put them in just a bowl of wool wash and water just like you were washing just like you're going to wash your sweater just in case what if what if there's color transfer of some kind of course there wasn't seriously this sat in a bowl for half an hour not a drop of this no. black cherry. Oh and that wasn't the case in the first several months of our yarn dyeing, you guys. Yarn dyeing is a science. And if you don't do it right, there's no, yeah. there's no, maybe I'll do this or that. Yeah. So we did have some color transfer early on. And this takes no time. Like you can mm -hmm. do this and then leave it in the bowl and go knit your gauge mm -hmm. swatch. So um, that's kind of another little tip that I think. You know, if you're newer to knitting sweaters, but you love high contrast, this is a super easy little trick that, and that we, will save a lot of tears sometimes. It's the best, the best tip. Yeah, that you it's can, a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Love it. Um, so thank you. So oh, Frankie Gray, you are. We I mean, this color is amazing, huh? We passed with fine colors. <laughs> I failed. You passed. I'm a giant failure. And also, if you guys. This is the Knitting Barber 
courts. Mm -hmm. If you were looking for someone to give you the best gift ever and you don't have these... And you love to knit sweater. I just can't even imagine knitting sweaters without them anymore. You guys, look what I did. I'm such a... I put it on waist yarn. Yeah, you can do that. Now I have to pick up all the stitches again. So I just put it on the ends of my needles and then spread it out big enough that I can put it on. Okay, should I try it on? <gasps> what? Uh, yeah. Come on. This is not... Maybe you're going to surprise yourself. In what way? And not... And not... No. Oh, okay. It's so good. It's really <gasps> awesome. Like, it's oh. just... It's such a beautiful motif. And, and I love the yarn choice. This is like my dream yarns put together. You and Sonder. I also it's such a feel great like combo. It is such a motif that you're drawn to. Oh, totally. It's, yeah. Ugh. Listen, this, this is shaping up to be one of my... I'm dreaming about this. Mm -hmm. Dreaming about it. Who are we Love getting a phone call from? From my dentist. Oh. <laughs> my implant dentist. I heard so you I... need a tooth. No. You guys. What do you mean? What do you mean I need a tooth? Well, you don't need it. You guys, this You don't is, need it. This is about day nine, a pair. No, your hair looks super good. You haven't washed your hair in nine days? No. Um, but it's been a few. I, I say that with no judgment. I don't mm -hmm. care. <sighs> do you know what I pulled out of retirement? Because I really want the sweater, but I'm in the boring body zone. It's funny we were talking Jody. about Caitlin Hunter today. Listen, after this, one of my sweaters I need to cast on and do exactly. This is this is calling my name easy so v. bad. Yeah, <gasps> Caitlin Hunter's Jody. Easy those v. are totally your colors. Isn't that amazing? Yes. Yeah, I just don't want to knit the body or sleeves, but I will. I'm going to. I know it's the worst. <laughs> You're just too used to having all these lovely support knitters. Team Jody, Team Jody knit the knit team. I don't know what I would. You need T-shirts without the amazing support of the women who knit for me. Oh my I god, it's a you. huge part of your team. Yeah, but um, look at this. Yeah, totally. The original pattern on this Easy V. It is a DK sweater. Um, this was, I think it's actually worsted. Her the yarn it? she used. I think so. Don't quote me. Yeah. Worcester or DK. This was spin But uh, you can totally get... Um, mm. Right. So like the spin cycle dream state and I forget what her main body yarn was. But I find lots of DK worsted weight patterns. You can get gauge. Right? Which is why I kind of love DK. Love oh, it. Star says the pattern is definitely worsted. Thank you, Star. Um, but I love it. Um, guess what we get to do? Visit. We get to see Hohi in two weeks. I know. In person. I'm so excited about our trip. I can't I'm so even. excited to go back to Pender Island. It is. It's a dream, you guys. It it's is crazy. a real, it is totally dreamy. It is amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to meet knitters and learn from teachers mm. right i just love it and see amanda and fiona and gosh the resort is so nice i still think people Ugh. should just go have a holiday there do you know what i'm so excited about no because you're not working for the week right what else is going on in the next two weeks god you guys from now to the end of october very busy christmas things are in shops jody look at your hat that's too soon Yes, it's too soon. You have to wait until Halloween's over. That's way jumping the gun. Yeah. Way. I agree. Way. And it really pisses me off, actually. Come on. Like, let's just enjoy. Let's not rush things. Have people started um, gift knitting or thinking about what I, they're doing? I hope so. Yeah. You don't want to leave it till the last minute. Yeah. It's more, I think, enjoyable for me if I can do, start earlier and not have a frantic pace of... I've never um, experienced that, but hopefully. Okay. Special Forces Ops. I love that show. You guys, the amount of reality content <laughs> is at an all-time high right now. I, I'm just going to say this. Housewives. Is it good? Oh, so good. When, okay. I, st I would like to start. OC was just finishing. Salt Lake City was just finishing. New York. Fin like, it's just like 
crazy. But the amount of content we're getting right now because of possibly also because of the the actor strike it's and horrible. the writer strike. It's horrible. It's these yeah, people have been out of jobs, but it, I mean it's two thumbs up for they're reality. They're striking for they're striking for very yeah. important reason. So, um, what else? Um, um, Survivor started where you had a lot of nice, not nice things to say. Yes, about I did. Are you still? Yes, I am. Really? You're, are you enjoying it? It's kind it's of It's better boring. now. Yeah, it's one of the most boring seasons ever. The first episode was probably the worst episode I've ever seen of Survivor. Yeah. Two people fighting to leave. Mm-hmm. What are you doing there? Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. Anyway, that's just my own little opinion. What does that mean? Um, I also, um, Amazing Race. Can I just say two thumbs up to the one and a half hour episodes? Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying that. I do enjoy that. Um, Our favorite show that we just binged over the last week was The Traitors. And that is my jam. That kind of show. We just started it. I thought you watched the whole thing. Oh, this one. Are you doing Canadian? Yeah. Okay. I saw. I I saw. Who was The Traitor? I didn't watch the Canadian one yet. No, no, yours. Remind me. I watched that season and forgot who it was. I don't want to tell anybody in case they're watching. Give a spoiler. No. Spoiler alert. Okay. Here's what I loved about the the United States Trader one. It was an amalgamation of some reality stars that I already knew and then just regular people like us coming in. Mm. I love the location. This lo- castle in Scotland. Alan Cumming, the host, is phenomenal. He was phenomenal. So good. It, but it's like, it was kind of like The Mole, but even one step better. Like, The Mole's always been my favorite game show. Now you're dating yourself. And it would be my dream come true for <laughs> Anderson, Cooper. Anderson Cooper to come back and do another season of The Mole. But we digress. The Traders, I think you'll love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'll talk to you later off. off. What's the first letter? Oh, no, no. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Why so did good. it just finish? I think it didn't finish that long ago, mm. but we we watched all like eleven yeah it was episodes so good. yeah anyway and there's a UK Australia Canada was it your favorite player here's the who thing, won though, the Canadian one is literally doing all the same challenges as the other one are they and they win way less money way that sucks they also get a hundred percent of the prize though. Oh, so maybe that is closer to... Like you don't have right. to split it, like the tax or whatever mm. you've got to take off. I love these deception shows, and especially when they're like in a kind of a beautiful location. I do love that. Oh, and I love how everyone lied about me last week and told me my glasses looked good. You didn't like them? Oh, you guys were assholes. <laughs> yes! That's just your opinion. No. I did like them. No. That's funny. They were awful. I'm going to donate them. <laughs> It's nobody's fault. Actually, they do take them up at that. Um, okay, here's what I didn't do, which I probably should have. I saw them on a face on somebody on TikTok and ordered them without doing the try on. And I was teasing you about like that because like, and oh, then, they look good on her, so of course they're. And look then good. I went back after I saw myself on the podcast, so and I did the try on, and I thought I would have never bought these. You're so funny and impulsive. You make me laugh. Oh. Um, I wanted to look as cool as the girl on the show. Not cool, but I loved her vibe. They, and they suited her. Yeah. I feel like they suited you too. Okay. It takes a while for to get used to something new like that. Mm-hmm. Conversation over. Okay. Tracy. Um, okay. What did you order? Jody. I have store. I have things to share. Okay. Things, exciting things that happened this week. And I still have knitting. But Knitovation, Knitovation by yes. Andrea Rangel. It's amazing stitch dictionary with so much color work, tips, tricks, and also beautiful patterns mm-hmm. came out this week. We've been waiting. It was kind of like Knitter's Christmas. It's out. It's there. You might get it at your local yarn shop. You can order it lots of places. Amazon, I, I believe, had it. I cannot no. wait to dive into it because it's a really, really beautiful book. If you love color work knitting, I think you will love it. Um, oh. And we have a giveaway happening on Instagram for the for the book and a giant pile of yarn that we think would make great color work projects. So go check that out. Not only is it color work motifs, did you say how many pa- There's several patterns. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of patterns. And the patterns are not the same 
as as in alternate like she's modifying charts for decrease like there's it's different it, it builds on alternate if you loved alternate this is building on that there's a lot of really cute botanical um motifs oh and i love that it's a project she does with her partner and it's just i couldn't love it anymore i think she's just brilliant and this book is stunningly gorgeous you guys so much work goes into these um books i like i can't even fathom wrapping your brain around this many i know motifs and they're original like there's this little row. over 150 of the then these never existed yeah. before these are all brand new and it's a very different style of color work it's very like modern this. i know gorgeous how am i yawning with that much coffee good question um it's so beautiful yeah so good um and the knit collage kits are out for the fall make along to pre-order they're out the, the cart opened yesterday it's open for a week Oh, I'll share this. I'll share with you guys what I'm making right now. Um, Grocery Girls has an affiliate link. We'll put that in our show notes. It's actually in our link tree all the time. So if you go to our Instagram, there's a link tree up in the bio. What's could, the difference? Sorry. What's the difference between this? What's the name of the first one? Alternate okay. Stitch Dictionary. So yeah. you guys, I, I just wanted to confirm this is at, on indigo and it's on amazon yeah you can get it pretty much everywhere i just googled it yeah um so lots of places and i know lots of yarn shops have been waiting for it so check out Why your don't lys have it? i am working on it thank our you. book distributor is working on is it. working on yes. it so i did ask we will hopefully in the near future but otherwise you can find it lots of places listen it was a very exciting email when penguin random house says can we send you one of these to give away so Thank you so much to, to them. Um, and we have another really beautiful book coming too. I, I love okay, that. Good. I love sharing books. And I love digital patterns and I love apps and all that stuff too. But I'm still that person that like flips through recipe books. <laughs> this and is giving us all new. Like this just keeps letting me know people are still excited yeah. about it. People are still, you know publishing these amazing exciting new books yeah. because we love knitting and there are so many you know independent designers now this stitch dictionary that's what it's meant it's meant for you to do whatever you want with it you can make your own hats mittens give them to your friends knit them for yourself but if you're a designer this is also like 150 you know motifs that maybe you want to incorporate into something um it's so just beautiful. Good. I love the style. I love the traditional style. I love the Scandinavian and the Norwegian and the Shetland color work. And then this, again, is a whole other, like, arm of the same thing. So I, I love them all. Estelle, I was just told, also carries knit, va knit ovations. Okay. So Google it. It's everywhere. Like, it's I, ev this was a big deal. Like, all these books are big deals. Yeah. But... Um, I personally was waiting for this one. I was so excited to see that she was having a second one. Love it. So yeah, knit collage. The knit along is starting in a couple of weeks, okay. but all the voting has happened. The kits are now for sale. If you want a certain color, go check it out earlier, sooner rather than later. As soon as I saw the Willow Cardi, I was like, game over. Game oh, over. As a distributor. Sorry, keep going. Okay. I'll put a note to myself. For okay. That. Um, so this is it. This is the Willow Cardi designed by Laurel Jervitz. And it is, I was just, I fell in love with the waviness. You, I love Feather and I remember and you said it as soon as it came totally. out. Totally. I was like, well, done, right? Like, that's so cute. <gasps> and swatched. I swatched for everyone today. It is. I didn't know you were coming to show me up. Whatever. Um, you're knitting half a sweater in I stripe. Know. This is like an hour, not even an hour's worth of work. But that's how fast it goes. So this one is knit in their worsted weight yarns, not the super bulky. It's Spun Cloud Light and Serenity. Can I just have a feelsies, please? Oh, Jody, it's so good. 
It's so this so is not nice. their super bulky. No, this is came out last year and it's called Spun Cloud Light. So it is. It's a thick and thin yarn, and it's got a strand of gold metallic. Got, what do they consider weight of this? It's worsted weight. But if you were to call it something. <laughs> on Ravelry, it's worsted weight. Just kidding. I do feel like you could probably knit it to an Aran, maybe a chunky, but it is not. Like, there's parts of it that are thinner and thicker, and when you put those two together, it's the fabric is a worsted weight fabric. Yeah. But could it be a fingering? It's beautiful. Look at this. Matchies. Oh. Oh. Um, and Serenity is the one that came out a couple years ago. And it's boucle. Mm, this is hand spun. This is hand spun. Um, this boucle one is not hand spun. Oh. Remember we knit our Express Yourself sweaters in this two years ago? This is awesome. Did I knit it? That one with yes, the color work, the blue oh, and gray. And you guys, it weighs nothing. It weighs nothing. And it is one of my favorite ever mm, sweaters to cozy. wear. It's so cozy. So this pattern this... has five colors of spun cloud and one color of this. And it's this super simple feather and fan You love lace. a feather I and fan. I love it. How about this? Do you even have to look at a pattern for feather and no, fan? No. Not once you... I don't think I've ever done feather and fan. Once you do the repeat a couple of times, mm -hmm. you're done. So I picked these top, those five colors, and then I had this blue in my stash. I feel I've got one extra color here. I need to eliminate a color. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I put your hand. Can you put I your feel hand like this, this is too bright. I feel like the everything else kind of goes except for this one. For your taste, for your liking. Yeah, well, I can no, see you just take it in out. just in brightness. Period, right? I don't know. I mean, I, I love it. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do, Jode. So you can think about it this way. You could have your pop of pink either being this or this. Or what you're thinking. Maybe take this out. Sorry, pop of pink this or this. Or just take this out or this out. I know. So one of the colors you don't use very much in the body, but it becomes your cuff and all the way, like your what do you button think band and be? stuff. When I chose my colors, I thought the navy. Mm -hmm. But now that I've added this other blue, I'm wondering, what do you think? No, I'm taking votes. Navy. navy? Okay. Navy. So then the navy is not used. See how there's very little of the purple? You only use it a little bit in the body. It's mostly used on the edges. So the other ones are most colors. So I, so my process is going to be pick the color that I want to do my edging. I think I'll stay navy. I thought it would be so cute with know. jeans. I don't know that I don't. I don't know that I love that decision that it's not in the thing very much. And well, maybe... here's the thing: you can do whatever you want, and they do give you a map. They give you a color map. You can do what you like, but basically you have to equally distribute your colors so that you don't run out of something and this is knit side to side really like cuff to cuff so your row gauge is very important oh, for the length of, for the length right speaking of row gauge so i'm really excited about it it goes lickety split i think it's going to be yeah so cute you know I think navy is your main color. I do. I think navy as the... Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. Here's the thing. I did... I do have some serenity in stash. I'm going to take a peek at the colors I have. And we'll see. I love this color. This this is like Coral Cabana or something it's called. It is so pretty. I also think... I don't know. Like, I mean, I like it with it. I'm just thinking maybe I've made... I don't know. The pattern is called Willow Cardi, and it's available in the Knit Collage Make Along. So you go to Knit Collage, and you can choose a Are kit. Are you married to this color? Or did you add that? Is that part of your I six? added that. No, that was not part of my six. But then I thought to myself, when I have just the navy everywhere else, then I'm really, you've only got five that you're dealing with. Yeah. And two of them are pinks. Yeah, I feel like it needed... Anyway... They have, listen, if you get the knit collage kits, I just pick my own colors. If you get the knit collage kits, they've already put this out there for you, right? 
And yes, we are affiliates for Knit Collage. If you guys go to our link tree, we've always got an affiliate link. And thank you if you choose to use it. We really appreciate it. Um, Lisa yeah. says get rid of the lavender. Lisa, I love that no, one. Lisa. Look at the bottom five. Like right there, that's, that's phenomenal. That's magic. Get rid of the coral, says One, Emily. Two, three, four, five. This is the coral. Yeah, you know, Emily, I might. Although this would be my... Oh, my God. I know. I know. It'll be really fun. I'm going to look at what I have in my little knit collage basket. I also, And you'll see next time. I also think removing this. I think you should either remove this or this. The coral or the pink? Yeah. Okay. I think that pink goes so well with the navy and the lavender. I do too. So I feel like that's a keeper. I feel I'm like really it. excited to see what happens. Okay. Don't listen to what we have to say then. I am listening. Just kidding. But uh, you'll, you'll I pick feel out. like nobody really knows what to do. Don't you love gold and pink? Pink and gold. Like it's so good together. If I didn't have this cream right there. But I mean, I, you could easily take this out. Yeah, I could. I could. But then all my stripes are going to be pinks yeah. and gold, which is, I'm not mad at that. I love it. Do you have another color of this that we could swap out for something? I don't know that I have a lot of spun. I don't think so. But I have more serenity. This this fluffy yarn. Listen, if you did. Uh, listen, if you just figured good. it out yourself. You could, listen, you could pick blindly from the, the colors you have there and it would be beautiful. So I'm hoping I'm on gauge. I did a little steam and now I'll measure it later. Um, 5.5 millimeter needle done. And if I'm my, if my gauge is too tight, six, <laughs> 5.5 feels so good. I'm going to use a six. Right. And I don't know if everybody knows, but when you buy one kit with knit collage, the make along, you get all the patterns, all the video classes. Yeah. Amy's got a great YouTube channel, knit collage here mm -hmm. on YouTube. She's got videos that tell you everything, but. Um, it's a phenomenal company and we love supporting them. Okay. I would like to circle back and have a conversation about size inclusivity. Bustani basket for the win. Oh my God. Don't you love it? Yes. So, um, okay. You know, we can't talk about, you know, everyone is welcome and we, you know, everyone can yeah. sit at our table. If we don't also continue the conversation about size inclusivity. And we've mentioned it slightly with some patterns. And I don't want this to be about designers because that's not what this is about. There's a lot of people out there mm -hmm. that fall under the category of not grading their patterns, right? To the to the mm -hmm. size inclusive sizes. So I don't really want to get into that. No, who... we're not going to point fingers. But I will say I was a big proponent of highlighting patterns on a few designers that are very not size inclusive. Um, I mean, I just, sure, whatever. Like to call But I just feel like if we, here's what I'm going to look at it as a pattern. Maybe if that's something that's important to you, maybe that's something you'll consider the next time you're purchasing a pattern. I'm also saying it for me because I didn't realize. Right. When it came to not only the big num the, the largest number on the pattern. Right. But then you have to take into consideration right. if you're telling me. That's, that's the point I'd like to That's go. my takeaway today yeah. is yeah. because this had a 60, I, I can't quite remember, but a 60 inch, I believe, finished bust, which you think, oh, that's size inclusive. Mm -hmm. But when they say they want a six to eight inches of positive ease. That means now that the largest bust that, sh that should knit that pattern with the recommended ease is 52 to 54 inches. Which is not size inclusive. That so is not I size inclusive. I was reading the patterns not incorporating right. ease, which therefore made it not size right. inclusive. A hundred percent. And I, I find literally, some guys, European patterns are graded much smaller. I just had that light bulb moment yeah. this week. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Yeah. And... There are patterns I have um, wished that I could knit. And the reason I choose not to knit it. Just to name a few. I'm just <laughs> to do Let me list them. No. It's true. It is 100% the only reason that I'm not choosing to knit it or buy it is the size that is has been 
graded to. Yeah. It's not inclusive size inclusive. There was this realization, you know, a few years ago, and people started adding sizes and saying, you know what? I'm sorry, I didn't consider that. So I'm going to add sizes to my patterns. And there are lots of people that continue to design patterns and they're incredibly successful, but they choose to not grade for either super small or super large. Size inclusivity goes both ways. So, and we just need to think about that. So if you were, you know, if your size is included in there, great, but I'm, I'm going to make sure that I do the next step in looking at really what's the biggest size, smallest size, who's included. Those are my, those are my choice of patterns. Mm -hmm. I also coming from a person who was plus size, there have been patterns that I have gone to and to find my size, I'm like, it's not there. Right. So I can't, knit it and right. I don't want the next person or the people I, moving forward I don't want people here knowing that we are endorsing and supporting and sure celebrating celebrating patterns that aren't size inclusive right and I mean I'm I don't and I don't even care with this it actually it does me, me too you it know really why? does because there's been comments deleted on posts yeah about um, designers post a sweater, someone comments, it's not size inclusive. Geez, I wish you would. And deleted comments. I know. There's also. I'm pissed. I know. It's 2023 know. and you can't grade it to a 70. Shame on you. That's what I say. I, I don't understand it. I mm -hmm. don't understand. I know how. Well, I don't really know. But I can imagine how much work goes into grading so many sizes in a sweater. I don't understand why there can't be a few more at the larger end to accommodate everybody. It would be a big deal to include everybody. Mm -hmm. It is a big deal. So that is absolutely the thing I'm going to consider. Well, I have been for a long time. I just haven't really talked about it like this, but in at home, you and I are like, Oh, look at this pattern. It's like not size inclusive. Yeah. Too bad. Right. Yeah. Literally off the list. Don't I'm not. I feel it. like the last long time I have printed and brought patterns here that were totally not size inclusive. Yeah. yeah. I've knit, not really I've knit them that ease factor. because I definitely haven't done it with every project that I've made and I'm going to be way better at doing it with, with every project totally. that I make because totally. it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, you're right. So if you see something that says 60 inches and that's the finished, finished, a measurement, you know, unless that's a zero E sweater, that's not size inclusive. And let me tell you, 60 should be the bare minimum. But I, 60, I don't, 62? but here's the thing, unless that's a tight fitting sweater, yeah. that's not big enough. And even if you say, oh, it's size inclusive, it goes up to 60 inches or with the ease, the biggest size you can knit is 60 inches. That's barely size inclusive. 60 inches is not... It, I mean, if you Barely. want any ease at all, that's not size inclusive. No. So anyway, something that means a lot to us, maybe you haven't thought about it in that way. And I just think it's really important that everybody should be able to knit a sweater without having to modify it, that yeah. it should, your size should be there. Mm -hmm. And this is not new, mm -hmm. right? I feel like everybody should have caught up by now. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it that, that there's, is it a stubbornness? Like, why do you... Why do people choose not to? Like you're telling me you don't want someone in a big body knitting and wearing your garments. I don't get that. That's what you're telling me without saying. Anyway, it's something to consider. It's something I'm totally going to consider. And I'm not here to we are trash I anybody. It is the whole mindset that, that bothers me. I'm here to trash. Sorry. No. It, it's fucking do you know annoying. What? It is annoying. Okay. Um, before I show the sweater, I want to make darn sure, but I actually, yesterday I did make sure, um, and boy, I mean, I know there's a lot out there that are size inclusive. So can I also just say thank you to those people? Yes. Right. It's not just, right. 
it's not just being a bummer about it. Thank no. you to those designers that do consider that knitters come in Garbage. all all shapes and sizes. Yeah, that's the one I said to you. Anyway. Okay, can we celebrate wool and pine right now? I won't show them all, but they have a brand they're new sweater. Phenomenal pattern. It's called Neon Nectar, and it's, it's adorable. It's speckly and fun it's and It's DK cute. yarn, but you know, what's, you know what I would love to see this in? Is a solid. Look at the... It's got beautiful shaping. It's got really deep ribbing, cropped or longer, whatever you like. But look at these little fun details here. It's like here. texture and speckles. I just yeah. don't think you can go wrong with that. I love it. So cute. Okay, you know who else has um, a brand new sock pattern? Helen Stewart. Oh, who Helen's love. got her knit then out too, you guys. Yes. It's a knitter's advent calendar. Like every week for five or weeks or something, you get a new pattern as a knitter to knit. Mm -hmm. And she's been doing it for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It is so much fun. She's amazing. If you're looking for a fun project for yourself, like a treat in your inbox, mm -hmm. get Knit Vent. Love it. You will love it. Helen's got such beautiful patterns. Um, so these are cute. They're kind of like a midi. I call them midi. That's my one of my favorite heights of socks to wear. I agree. Um, just beautiful texture and a perfectly classically knit, perfectly shaped fitting sock. But look at that. Party at the top, business at the bottom. <laughs> okay, um, let me show this one more and then I'll move on. Oh, I and, love and, this okay. one. I love Sh this one. Shay Johnson just came out with a brand new. It's called the Coven Cardi. Her, I didn't want to print too many, but if you can see, oh, no. I, it was one of the lower photos. Anyway, this is a brand new cardigan. It's a worsted weight cardigan. She has, she wanted to knit a garment that all of her friends could knit and modify to their own specifications. Cute. Slash striping sequence. That's adorable. So you can see. Can I just see this for yeah. a sec? Oh, it's raglan. I love it. It's a raglan top down sweater, a cardigan. But she has in the pattern different ways to customize your stripes to make it exactly your flair. Okay, how much do I love this detail here where your ribbing starts and ends with like there's a sandwich of ribbing color and then your button band is so it just that's a really cute detail. I feel like you see this and you th there's thought and planning that needed to go into these stripes. And look at sequences. her little like kind of blousy sleeves. Yeah, not like my shit show where I've got to now unpick the there's thought that goes into I mean, this. that's like no decreases, but then a nice snug little ribbing, probably a decrease right at the end a little bit. Mm -hmm. <gasps> that's a really cute Cardi. You guys, I, sh I would love so to wear that. Cute. So let's show Shay some love with her pattern. Go check it out. Put in your favorites. Support these designers by purchasing Even their patterns. Even clicking favorite on in Ravelry yeah. is a big deal. Yeah. It brings it up to more people seeing seeing it. Size inclusive. Thank you, Shay. We love you. This is really cute. This is a super cute sweater. This is an all-over slip stitch mosaic motif knit in Sonder DK yarn. Yep. You guys. Rebecca, who has the Crea Bea podcast on YouTube. Lots of knitters know about it. They will love her. She's actually so sweet. It's crazy. This is all of the sweater designing is in addition to you know, her day job, which is nuts, but she's cranked out so many beautiful designs. This Alder one is totally calling my name. It's a top down raglan, um, in the round sweater, which you guys, it's like a no brainer. It looks like a little stars kind of. Yeah. It's really cute. You guys, I love a two color the combination, but then you pick, I don't know. This is there so appealing. One of the testers did a very multi, so not just two colors, like I think one base color and m incorporated a lot of multiple contrast colors. It's super cute. Yeah, maybe it's something you could do with your advent calendar mm -hmm. or mine from four years ago that's uh -huh. sitting in a basket. Mm -hmm. You guys, I was cleaning. The worst. I was pulling. I also want to reach out if there's any teachers out there. Um, I have a, some yarn to de-stash for too. yarn groups. So please reach out. We can probably take four or five yeah. 
um, hopefully, um, real in need teachers wanting to teach the youth. Oh, um, you've picked all these anyway, sweaters that I've been Tracy, like, Jody. This did I you look at you. it and go, Tracy, Tracy should knit yes. that. And thank you. These are all size inclusive. Okay, good. Um, this is called the Messia. Mes Misa? Misa Misa pullover by Amy Christoffers. Christoffers. Why do people? Okay, is do it I... Christoffers or is it just Christoffers? Oh. I don't know. Do I sound look like the idiot? No, I don't know. But she did all the. Uh, what's that one with the slip stitch flowers? That like it was a shawl. It was a so it's pressed flowers. It's a pump. right. She did all of those ones. I think. Did she really? Yeah. You guys, I imagine this is going to be a very popular pattern. Oh, that's just gorgeous. And I love it in the beautiful neutral. Do you know what it's yarn a sport that is? weight? I don't know exactly. I think when you, it's when you uh, say that, I think DK. No, I put an S. No, but I think oh, DK. What I was gonna say is whenever I see the weight of yarn, I know that you're going to be able to get gauge one up or one down. There's always just a little bit of playing with your needle size, you guys, and with a little bit of knowledge. Yes. So she's got so many stunning patterns. Oh, my patterns. God. It's probably Christopher's. Do I sound like an idiot? No. I've heard lots of people say Christopher's. Because, I mean, if you look at the word, it's offers. Like, if you break up the word, it's offers. Is it a pullover? <laughs> yes, it is. Anyway. Uh is one of those one of those ort? one of those options is correct. It's in sp ort well, anyway. Right. Isn't That's this so beautiful, funny. you guys? This motif, it's a raglan top-down sweater with an amazing motif. I think that's so pretty. So rather than what we normally see is like the color work being the motif or all over texture, she's kind of just centralized it and just had this amazing Super gorgeous. Size inclusive. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Love I'll, it. I'll keep going. Yeah. Well, we both have more knitting. Wow. Those yeah. are really good pictures. Thank Jody, you. that's fantastic. Done. Thanks for pointing that out for us. I reprinted. Listen, I had to get Jeff. I sent him a file yesterday to print at work and bring home because. Really? Yes. Because I don't know what's going on. Like, obviously, I think my printer is gasping its last this breath. This was Pre deep clean, pre deep clean. Sorry. How do you do that? It's just a setting. Oh. Oh, I didn't reprint this. I should probably. Need Melanie to do that. Berg. I'll bring it up. She's got a great new mosaic and garter stitch stripey shawl. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So gorgeous. I love her. Okay. Did I just show knitting? We both have more knitting. You go. You show knitting. Okay. More knitting. Oh. Okay. So. I'm so stiff. Okay, I have an FO, Joe. Do you really? I do. I have an FO in Frankie Gray Fibers. 11-11. Mm. So I sort of um, sneak peeked my cowl last time, and this is it finished. We Did need you a block name. it? Blocked it. What wet block? Uh yep. steamy? <gasps> yeah. So it didn't bleed. Wet oh block. Oh! I know it's I know I love it. This is spectacular. Who dyed the colors? Jody. This is all Frankie Gray fibers. Um, it is a little bandana cowl. Are you so proud of yourself? I don't know. I, I don't. I love it personally. It's so I'm so, so happy good. with it. It's I, the colors make me so happy. For some reason, I had it in my mind. I really wanted a bandana cowl. Yeah, you did. Um, and I also made, but they are not attached because, you know, I just didn't know. I, I think bandana cowls are really cute with a little tassel. It's super, per like, whatever. You like it or not. You're going to love this, Mom. I like this. In black and oh, she green. She gets a black and white. So it's very, <gasps> very simple, bottom up. I need a name, Jode. Come on. Come Let's on, people. Oh, it's spectacular. Well, the colors are really calling my name. Like, I, oh. I just love it. So it's a bottom up. So you knit a flat, basically, triangle. And then you join in the round and do this super fun little slip stitch. I love how you are alternating and making that stitch um, two, two colors. So it's two strands of yarn. Yeah. So you're going to get two colors of the little blippy stitch here. Um, Jody 
shared this stitch pattern with me and I was like, I love it. I'm gonna, I just said to her how much I love it. She goes, well, use it in something. It's not, you don't like I know, but you stitch. saw it. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, I love it. And so that's, how, this is actually, I don't know how much we're going to share about this, but I love it. There's a little bit of a broken rib at the top, a little more stripes, a little Italian bind off. Did Bo you? Bob's your uncle. Yeah. Can so I good. Please? For one by one ribbing, I love I love the sewn bind off. It's invisible and it makes the top almost like tailored, perfect. You know, because this this was like stitch pattern came via you, I'm thinking something about sisters, something like BFF cowl. I don't know. We need to think of something cute. I'm I'm starting a second color version <gasps> today. City lights. It doesn't have to be mine. Like it doesn't. Have I don't know. I'm. I don't know what the name. I'm so bad with the name. It's it all DK. It's DK. It goes super fast, um, and it's so much fun to knit. See, with a bandana cowl, you guys, you kind of just put it on and don't need to. You guys, it's so much fun. Like I was watching. Like it's just. It was so much fun. This? Slash, pull my hair out. This looks like it's like. A... Like look at the swatches. Aren't they great? Like it was so this much looks fun. Like a jock strap. Totally. I feel like I should just. I love it. A yeah. patch. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Um, but look at this. It's like effortless. You can do it two colors. You yeah. can do it. Yeah. Every different thing. A, a new color. I, love I think it. so too. And of course, I'm like, oh, I have all these versions going around in my head because I think it's fun. Yeah. Stripes inspire, like totally inspire me. So I agree. Anyway, Stripes I'll, are addictive. Totally. Like they're, I feel like they're very energizing to me. Mm -hmm. Like I just can't wait to knit another color. Um, all of these colors are Frankie Gray fibers. This is Phantom, Grasshopper, Indigo, Pretty in Pink, Big Apple, Lavender Haze. We're loving Lavender Haze. Oh. Lavender Haze. Look, don't you is love it with moment. Indigo? Yes. Anyway, these were really fun to put together. Make little, this is how much is left over from a skein and minis. Oh, so nice. it's yeah yeah it's good using a lot of them it's good and that's after knitting uh, like three okay. tassels soul sisters cowl i love soul the double sisters. s's sisters that's cute yeah i'd love a cute name i should have like a naming contest um so super fun good job fun to make i feel like this matches what i'm wearing today well keep it no and then, like, if you're outside walking, you guys, you can just kind of snuggle in and kind of, like... That's the look I'm going for. <laughs> would you like... Hook it on your ears. Would you like to have the pattern preview be this? Right. I love it. So wait. Hold up. I'm going to take a picture, and that's it. That's the... That's it right okay, there. Okay, but listen. I'm not kidding. If you're having this on and you're out for a walk, it's not weird to go like this. No, just you're right. In. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no I, I do agree with you and i also love mocking you so i'm torn i am torn and i feel like yeah frankie gray you're the best and if you're missing a tooth you get extra points right whatever somebody said they could do it in their hockey team colors you totally could i mean snow one... bunny cowl <gasps> oh snow bunny i really think that's cute leslie leslie okay if i name it something you suggested you need to message me because i'll give you the pattern and i'll send you a kit to knit it oh my gosh well then we should have a real naming contest well i'd love the, the snow bunny okay well there you go Mes uh, email us hello at grocery-girls.com that's a really cute name. we should have we should have <laughs> <So> prepared <laughs> We should have thought more with our done. Email. Contest done. You won. <laughs> the contest lasted four seconds. You're the okay. winner. Okay. What I do want to talk about before we get right to the very end mm -hmm. is our collaboration with Orange Avocado. <gasps> Only because we talked about it, and yeah. then a lot of people forget. But we did have, a and it was like not available at the time we talked about. It. Right. So we talked about the knit jewelry. We wore it before there was even a collabora collaboration mm. because we adore Sandra and Aaron and Orange Avocado Jewelry. For years, we've been collecting their yeah. jewelry and wearing all the time. Yeah. You guys will have seen it all the time. <gasps> Just about pulled out my bobby pin. Don't you love a good bobby pin? For old ladies, yeah. Um, Look. Yeah. So you guys have been so receptive. It is such cute. It is knit 
themed jewelry. I'm coming close. Fine silver and 14 karat gold fill or sterling silver. That little, this little thing is your, it's a yarn ball. But who would even know Only that? Only you and I know it's a yarn ball. Only the cool knitters that love yarn know that. It's a punched out silver circle, but it's got a punched heart in the middle. And they do that by hand. They take silver, make that disc, take out the heart, yeah. hand do it. It's all made by hand. These guys are phenomenal. These ladies are phenomenal. Okay, you guys, I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to see all my chins. Here's the little gold yarn ball jewelry. They're little dangles, but not huge dangles. I love them. So, and there's the bracelet. The Which, bracelet comes in three sizes. They're very slight sizing. I could wear a medium or, a, or the large with not a lot of... Um, you know, sometimes when you get the sizing, like yeah. it's quite drastic. And some people like things more snug or with more room. So if you measure your wrist, you'll see in the listing the length of the bracelet that maybe you would prefer. You guys look at that. So that's on oh, a sterling I'm not silver taking chain. It off. I know it's been This is the gold on gold. There are two options for the necklace. You'll come with the gold knit ball. Or with the silver. Mm -hmm. And listen, no one's going to know, oh, you're wearing a yarn ball. Yeah. But I think the sweet thing is it is a yarn ball. And I mean, I just layer it up with all these bracelets. It's just a really beautiful thing. And I think, you know, maybe this is something you put on a holiday list. We do still have some stock. You can forward an email to your whoever is looking out for you. Um, or get it for your bestie or your, get it for yourself. Don't have to wait. Sander and Aaron are committed to making sure everybody gets what they want. Yes. So. We're so lucky. There are some sizes in the bracelets in both the sil silver and the gold fill that say pre-order. But they're making them. They're going to be out the door within a couple of weeks. Yeah. So you're going to have it plenty of time before Christmas if that's what you're thinking. Yes. So. Any holiday. We, if we end up, you know going low on the stock i'll just put pre-orders up and we'll get it turned around really quick we yeah. want everyone to get what they want uh, absolutely um it was so much fun, it's been you a guys. really fun collaboration and with such a great people your and sandra's a knitter adorable. oh i love them aren't they just the perfect little yeah. length sandra's a knitter yeah sandra's a knitter so but it's a mom and daughter and they've got an amazing studio here in edmonton and you know the their jewelry has been around for a long time. I want to say 2008. I bought my first piece. That's mm -hmm. how long. They're and incredible. I, I wasn't in right at the beginning, so we're They're very lucky. Amazing people. We're very lucky. We're excited that Sandra said, "What do you guys think if we do this?" And we couldn't have um, a partnered with two more amazing yeah. women yeah. that. You know, started their own company that Sandra now has uh, welcomed her daughter into the business. Mm -hmm. So it's a mother daughter family business. They're All amazing. All things that are really special to us, near yeah. and dear to our heart. It means a lot. Yeah. Um, and to have the the opportunity to offer such beautiful jewelry for knitting, people that love, love knitting. I mean, wow. Okay. So Off the charts. Awesome. That's out now. On sale, yes. groceryGirlsKnit.com. Yes. Okay, Tracy, I want you what to you smell think? this. Do you love it? I think you're going to be obsessed. Okay, good. It's very... Ooh, it's soapy. It no? Like... Yeah, I love it. I like stuff like that. I do like it. I thought you'd like it. It smells like... I mean, it's called shower, so it does remind me of... It's one of those clean scents. Kind of soapy. Oh, I love I... it. It's totally you. Yeah, I love it. Um, Thanks. Jones Road has one scent. Can you believe they made boxes for that thing? I know. Um, they have one scent. So you didn't, did you already have the magic hour? Yes. Okay. So that's why I got so okay. good. So they have a brand new of their balm. Yeah. And miracle balm spending X amount of dollars. You got a free sample. That's for the so perfume. nice. Yes. Are you going to keep it? No, that's for you. Okay. Yay. You Thanks. needed to smell it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to. So, okay. So, Tracy, it's so fun. Thanks, Jode. It all got sent to you. I love it. Are you sharing this? Yeah, I will. O-M-G. 
I'm obsessed. Has everybody noticed our little gnomes here today? This one I bought at our first Rhinebeck. I bought it pre-made. Gorgeous little guy. Isn't he so cute? I don't know his name. Oh, but he is, look, he's got suspender. Yeah, he was pre-made. I remember the, the going, so this is by Going Gnome. They have a giant booth at Rhinebeck. They've got amazing things on their website. And then last year, I wanted to make Jody a few gnomes for Christmas. But I really, I wanted, I want one for myself. So this is our little knitting man. Our little He's big. Isn't Thank you. Jody, he is. Anyway, this was like literally the first thing I ever felted. I thought I better practice felting before I do. You did good. Tracy, that's so good. Anyway, and look, you got to, he made, he's knitter. He's so cute. Was that in the instructions to knit that thing? Oh, shoot. His stitches are coming off the needle. I'll have to fix that. Ah! Um, you got to put on a barber cord. I mean, I guess you could knit it on needles. I don't know why I knit it on toothpaste. <laughs> No, no, but yes, that's, it's so cute, I don't know. guys. I don't remember the instructions. I, a lot of the stuff was visual. I was just like, oh, this needs to be garter stitch, whatever. Okay, it was basically knitting Christmas this week because one day this week, a package arrived. You got that for free? From the ladies, the amazing Jen and Melissa. <gasps> Look, there's their dragon. They're um, beautiful. These are brand new. Brand new knitting gnomes, and they're actually on pre-order. This is the gnome felting a gnome. What? I ordered that. What? I had no idea you got this. That Me I just either. purchased. And the Rhinebeck. And the knitting lady gnome. It needs to stand next to the knitting Limited man. edition 2024. So, I mean, he's going to get his little knitting friend. It is so ironic that you got those because this arrived. So it's funny because even before I left our class of the um, that we took in Knit City, I had ordered these going gnome. Look, this, it's a gnome felting a gnome. This little guy's limited edition for this year. This one's limited edition for next year. Both on pre-order. So you haven't missed anything. And if you're going to Rhinebeck, I bet you you're going to see these there. No, I, I'll, I'll show me what you ordered because the can you narwhal. Pull up, can you pull up the the Rhinebeck pre-order one too, please? Because sure. I have that coming too. The little guy wrapped in your CC's wool. No. Oh, I thought there was a different Rhinebeck one. Okay, maybe I'm but maybe wrong. I'm wrong. Anyway, that um, one's okay. super cute too. This is not new, but it is in the shop. This is called Saint Nicholas. And oh, I love. If him. you celebrate. <gasps> But I just love look. the gnome shape. Okay, so that's the one I got. And these are not necessarily for me. I will no. arm wrestle you for them. No, no, no. no. I didn't. Man, I didn't plan on keeping them. Both. Um, Jack Frost. I didn't mean to say it like oh, that. Oh, I love. Isn't he beautiful? Wow. With navy blue. Everything you need comes in here, you guys. What is it about gnomes? And the like. I don't. Okay, here he is. Okay, this is. That is the Rhinebeck gnome. This is the Rhinebeck yes. gnome. The felted. Yeah. What? I didn't know that, but now I do. Hey, why don't I? Oh, my God. You guys. <laughs> Rhinebeck gnome in giant letters. And this is knitting gnome. Compact so these are brand beginner. new. I have these on the way. Oh, my goodness, Jody. I could not resist. First of all, I've never seen a kit like the ones going mm -hmm. gnome do. Mm -hmm. There is everything except the felting surface that you need. Mm -hmm. There's needles, all the wool, a phenomenal instruction booklet. Like there's lots of put into these books. Kev, I can't tell you how FOMO I'm feeling already and Rhinebeck hasn't I know. even started. I know. I'm, I um, like to tell myself I wasn't feeling FOMO. I'm lying to myself. Yeah. Father Just, Christmas. I've always said I don't get FOMO. I do get FOMO to spend time with because we had yes. such a good Not time at yarn. lunch. No. Well, though I love that too. But the main highlight is always seeing people. Look at this guy. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Father Christmas. And did you show your narwhal? Not yet. Oh, okay. I love. Okay, that's so cute. I. So would these be like a cute baby gift? Like no. if your feet needle felt, well, not the needle, but the like you've made a little narwhal or whatever for a little kid like there's no just sit on their shelf well how are they gonna hurt it 
I think it's pretty easily ruined. And no? wool is like washable. I mean, I don't mean for them to trash it, but it's. Don't play with it. Anyway, that you're probably right. I mean, I would recommend you guys listen. These are single tools, which will do the job. It will. But if you want to get serious, yeah, there's ones with three or more. That clover pen that has three. I feel like if you're buying the little felting surface anyway, that little three in um, felting needle holder thing is totally worth getting. Um, and it's a picture tutorial. Like it's yeah. like a little mini class, you guys. It's not just a written instruction. It's a picture tutorial. These are so, listen, if you have a crafty kid, if you, um, if they have to be careful not to poke themselves, but these are great gifts to, if, if someone you know likes crafting, like I could have bought this for Max or yes. Madison. Yes. And they would have loved it. Yes. Yeah. I totally agree. Um, I don't think you want your kid drooling on wool, but it, not that it would hurt the wool. You know, um, I guess I don't mean baby, but smaller clearly kids, I'm, smaller kids, clearly right? Clearly, I'm more concerned about the well-being of children. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I was lucky I had a diaper when I left the house. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you to Jen and Melissa for treating us. Well, now that you, I feel have, like, now that you learned all those extra things from your class i'm yuki i'll be just like we'll be pros no but when i pros. saw this little lady um knitting oops and i had the my first little guy it was like what pink curly locks oh look there's her hair right there it's gonna be cute oh. you guys i'm gonna make that one we always do like my favorite things at christmas and we send some things out i feel like i would love to include a going gnome kit and something like that for someone you never know if it's somebody that's going to want it maybe we'll have to do a felting specific the, oh, the kits yeah. are phenomenal if you're going to rhinebeck put it on your list if you're not going to rhinebeck check out the website there's clubs can... it's very tempting lots of pre-made gnomes yeah and different things yeah They're let me tell you just the whole therapeutic Felting process mm -hmm. is so much fun. I feel like everybody would like it. I have so much in my bag, I can't even tell you. Okay. Bring I'm, it on. I have a, oh, so Shelly, who is a friend in BC who does a lot of sample slash test knitting for me mm -hmm. and my patterns, she's amazing. I just got back four samples this week wow. these are new patterns that will be out in the next two weeks wow not yet i've just been sitting on them i've just been lazy about it okay. but this is my color work Jody, one of the color work so pretty um i do it in conjunction with frankie gray fibers because we have kits and things for it so i haven't named it yet but this will be actually my first silk uh, color work isn't that exciting yeah. and then this one is also knit um, is the same one, but it's got um, a different mini set. And I love what you guys gray. have done. Yeah, so so that's going to be one coming soon. Shelly is a beautiful knitter. Oh my gosh, I love knitting color with cats. Yeah, me too. Yeah. They go so fast, right? Yeah, totally. And then the next one that's coming out is um, a combination of mosaic knitting and my original JoJo hat. I my love very this. first one where it kind of does that swooping yeah. kind of motion. <gasps> That's so good. But I have added um, some slip mosaic stitches in there. So Shelly also knit with wow. mini sets. Um, and this. Oh, look at that. This is not out, but will be um, very soon. Oh, that is so Both pretty. Both TK. So pretty. So. God, what would I do without knitters? Would wow, you have knitting that's contests? phenomenal. Yeah. Um, okay, here, let's do this. Last, maybe last month or even two months ago, we got an email from a yarn company I had never heard of, and that's really, really exciting. They're very far away. It's Prestige Yarns. Uh, and these are Australian Merino that I just about dyed. It's so soft. Excuse me. They've got some, this is a hand dyed line, the Fiori line. And it's all named for like 
Australian flowers and they have seriously beautiful mm. bases. Oh my God, this is soft. You it's guys. so soft. This Australian fine merino. This is a lace weight with 25% silk. <gasps> Look at that glow. Fior oh, wow. Glow. So the company is Prestige Yarns. This line is Fiori and they've got all kinds. So oh basically they reached out and wanted to support the breast cancer fundraiser, which is so generous, and oh my okay. gosh. If anyone has had a chance to or want to try this base of 8020, it is Australian fine merino and 20% nylon. It is next. And these, level. from what I understand, are bases spun for them. So this oh. is their yarn. Like I haven't felt this. This is Joey. incredible. How about this? Oh. This is, I think, worsted. This is in the pink. It is. This is worsted. So all of these pink ones are going to be in the breast cancer fundraiser. There's this a is a family business. Yeah. Which we love. Okay, look at the bulky. Wow. Single ply. Look at that. Oh, okay, you feel beautiful. that. It's like I've never. Okay. Wow. Turquoise I'm not blue. kidding you guys. The softness on this yarn is incredible. This the and they're super wash. I just can't even believe it. I I it's incredibly soft. That extra fine merino is amazing. Okay, they've got Holy all these cow. different bases. This one is merino and silk and DK, I think. Wow. Two hundred wow, wow, meters, wow. four millimeter. Anyway, Boy, look at that. Generous. Oh That's my beautiful. gosh. A, a bulging box. And so the yarn is stunning. I I, I hope all Can of Can I our, feel the silk? Work? All of our Australian friends, I'm sure, know mm. about them. These are all hand dyed and they're very soft bases. They sent wow. two skeins of soft yarn too. So these are totally going to go. It looks like they have sent a little snippet of, oh my all gosh, of their bases. So many bases. And if you go to their website, they have so much yarn. This one is an 80% fine merino and 20% nylon. So not mm. just super wash, but they're fine merino. Super soft. Wow. The colors are amazing. So thank you. Thank you, Prestige Yarns, for supporting the fundraiser. And, you know, now you've supported other knit alongs too because we're going to make sure that lots of our knitters get these that 80 20 soft yarn yes is next level i thought just the same this thing. this the the lightness mm. and the thinness and the squishiness yeah. of the soft yarn I is agree. incredible i agree beautiful so gorgeous gorgeous thank you thank you um we've had so many fun things come and i love that these are all kind of coming at the same time this like our fun gnomes there's another fun animal that showed up in our mailbox. Actually, she DM'd us, and I was like, I I couldn't even imagine what she meant when she DM'd. She goes, "Can I send you an emotional support chicken?" Yeah, you can. And I was like, oh, and if it's not real, oh, we're gonna what? have a problem. Yes, um, this adorable kit in a bucket. She's Lindsay Lohan, and she is an emotional support chicken. It's so freaking cute. When you knit it up, she's 13 inches long and 10 inches high. Oh, she's big. And she's like, it says six peats bucket of chicken just add stuffing. It's got everything in it, you guys. It's got the pattern, all the little bits and bobs you need. Oh. And you just need to add um, stuffing. Look at this fun yarn. Look at her finished right there. So Annette is the knitting tree in Los Angeles, a yarn shop. And they make emotional support chickens. And I think that's adorable. You get the little eyes. So cute. I've never she heard of anything. I've never heard of anything like it. So there's the knitting tree la.com and they're at the knitting tree on Instagram and probably other places. Um, I just thought it was adorable. I love a cute little stuffed animal. I just thought they were very unique and creative with that one. So totally going in the prizes, which I love. Thank you. Okay, you know what showed up in my box yesterday? No, Jody, I do not. My mailbox? You yes. had me wondering. Um, Leo and Roxy sent me a box. 
Okay. I could, okay. And that's said, exciting. Okay, so. Um, ah! Leo and Roxy had paired with... Okay, I gotta read first. First of all, she sent me... Wow. Oh, my gosh. Um, two color block kits. That's amazing. Right? Yeah, amazing. Won't these make... An amazing prize. So JoLynn is the owner of the Little Red Mitten. She's the hand dyer behind Leo and Roxy Yarns. She's and done such an awesome ton. human. Let me just pull up her Instagram. She has done a ton of kits, you guys. Wow. And one in particular um, that she had done was this really beautiful color block sweater. This is their natural sock base. It's 80% wool, 20% nylon, non-superwash. So it's phenomenal for anything, but it is great for garments for sure. Wow. Oh, so good. Um, she had had a show sample uh, done for Tin Can Knits Simple Sweater. Wow. And sent us two kits for it. Look at that. There she is. That's so beautiful. Isn't that cute? Yes. So that... Is you could knit it for whatever you want, but this is the one she kit for her show. Also, what she sent you guys. What a color palette. Isn't that amazing? Come on. Also, what she sent was the Rocky Horror. She has okay. I know we have a ton of Halloween fanatics out there. So totally. you're gonna love this. A Rocky Horror Picture Show Countdown Advent to Halloween. Um, countdown to Halloween. And isn't this a collab with Leslie of Rosehaven Yarns? Right. So Rosehaven Yarn Shop. And Bad Girl Yarns. Oh. They, all together, it's 13 day countdown. It's available for pre order. I believe if you're looking, there's still some in the shop. We should do a giveaway for this this weekend. There's like, two. put it up. Yeah. Yes. Put it up, send it out. We do have a knit, um, knit ovation book and yarn giveaway going, but you know what? We could do this one in Ravelry. Last time I did one in Ravelry, the, the winner never got back to us. I Instagram has more, usually get more engagement. And I would love for the people that enter to follow the people that made mm. the item. That's sort of my favorite part about the Instagram one. Keep your eyes peeled on our Instagram. We're doing yeah. this giveaway. If you're interested, there is still some available at leoandroxy.com. What a fun... First of all, I love the theme. Rocky Horror Picture Show. I know. Don't we love that? Look also, at the cute bag yeah. they, they did for it. Also, it's leoandroxyyarnco.com. Okay. Um, but that will be in our show notes. Phenomenal. From our show fairy. Oh, show my note gosh. Fairy. Shout out. Officially my favorite human. Star and BJ. Oh, she, did, she said before that she was, right? Okay. Anyway, I think so. Hopefully she's We won't make that. too much attention to her, but she's... She, both? The lit, two both? Women, of our yeah. friends that dedicate time and energy and effort, we couldn't be more grateful or love you guys more. You're okay, amazing. I only have a few things. Show me something you got. Okay, Jody. So you were over at my house on Friday, and this package arrived from Pennington Design, who is a potter. I don't know where she is. She's somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, but we ordered from her at Flock Fiber Festival, a pre-order. Look at her gorgeous <gasps> pottery. I've ordered before from her stuff. I've got bowls, mug, a mug, a few things. Her work is phenomenal. So we if you- hadn't, hadn't remembered we were getting this. I know. So it showed up and Jody's like, let's do an unboxing. Here's our paper. <laughs> this is it. Here's one. I hope it's not broke. I don't think it will be. But you know what? Um, Amy. It's Amy. And her pottery is phenomenal, you guys. If you love pottery, again, looking for gifts or something just to treat yourself, her stuff is beautiful. It's not broke. So it's a combination, you guys. Oh, I can't wait. It's a combination of denim and rain drawn sheep yeah. and her sister doing the pottery so a sarah is denim and rain amy is pennington pottery sisters look at this so we pre-ordered these in august look and they're here are you kidding i could have brought you know what if we didn't have to go on an airplane and it's not so it's such a hassle to bring back breakable things 
I yeah. could have cleaned out her booth. But these were these were specifically a pre order, and there was like five or six to pick from. How do you they know what all... to make? Is that right. is that all that's in the box? Did were you looking for more? No. Did you think we bought more? Maybe this is it. Um, what do you think about that? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Gorgeous. Oh. How the, beautiful. What an amazing surprise where you, I had zero recollection. And if I'm honest, I would have never remembered if she didn't send it. Okay. Well. Well, she did. Good thing she did. She did. But how fun that we got to pre-order this and then we get it for a surprise in the mail. Really gorgeous. I mean, such a talented pot. I love it. You know, we grew up with our mom loving pottery I think we've just been appreciating handmade things our whole life. Mm -hmm. I just love it. So I don't know which one you want. Doesn't matter. They're both gorgeous. Um, so fun and so unique. And honestly, this little guy it could just hang anywhere. And it doesn't have to be totally, you know, I don't think of it as an ornament. It can be whatever you want. Oh, who doesn't love a QR right? code? Right? Yeah. You guys, QR codes are is the most smart thing ever. Um, and our friends at um, Len Yarn Shop out in Ontario. Where was that from? I'm the worst. Village Len Yarn Cafe out in Ajax, Ontario. They did, as far as I know, close their brick and mortar, but you can order online. And they've been doing their great Canadian yarn adventure kits. We've been sharing these for a very long time. They are so generous. They always send one out this way and they always go out in prizes. And every month the kit is inspired by somewhere in Canada. Look at that. Very pretty. Agawa Canyon, Ontario. I'm not looking. I noticed. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, anyway, this is, you get this cute little postcard showing you the inspiration. You get a pattern book. And of course, goodies, right? You get a cute little coordinating stitch marker, a little autumn leaf this time. And you get cable needles and things to weave in your needles. And why is that? Because... The pattern mm. is a cabled um, hot water bottle <gasps> thing. This is Dick's yarn. It is in the yarns of Richard DeVries. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So this is the kit. You guys. So if you were hoping for a surprise, I apologize. But this is it. And That's gorgeous yarn. Cute. So it's like the whole shebang, right? You get Boy. the cable needles and everything. This is a merino cashmere silk. How nice is that? Worsted weight yarn. And the designer is Sung Hee Park. And she designed this. She's an avid knitter living in Toronto. How fun is that? Wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, I beautiful. Love this I just signed up for Pennington Pottery's email. Oh, good. I wish idea. she had more of these sheep to pre order, if I'm honest. I'm sure they're super labor intensive. And I know those ladies have little kids. So did pottery. Did Pennington Pottery cut them out and fire and all that stuff and denim and raid paint them? Or maybe the shape is? I don't know. I think the shape is Sarah's sheep that she draw that she does art um, Did paintings Sarah of. paint them on and Pennington do all of the pottery part of it? I think maybe she just used Sarah's shape mm. of sheep to do. Um, but I, I do don't know for sure. It. That is just my guess. Mm -hmm. Just my guess. Okay. How cute, though. Yeah. I don't, for all I don't of us sheep them, lovers. She's got a few things on her website. I did sign up for her email just in case. I think she did many, many, many pre-orders. For and these? And did as many as she... Did you see them on her on her Instagram? Um, Maybe after Flock. Well, that's not going to help me now, is it? You want more? Is that what you're saying? Well... Okay. Uh, Pennington Design Pottery. Something that I... Oh, I love Buku. Arona of Buku. Her work is so beautiful. I'm so tempted every time she does a little shop update. And she had these little two zip, double zip pouches available. 
and I got two of them. Oh, Did you want so one? I got one for cute. you and one for me. They're yes. double zip. Like they're the perfect size for a little notions or like in your purse to pick one. They're really close. I'll put my condoms in here. Right. Um, Tracy, put all your tums. It. Good. Thank you. Handmade, double zip. My aunt acids. She's got, um, she's got a new book coming out, which I can't wait for. What's her new book about? Um, patchwork like this, say, like doing these tiny look at how bits. How much patchwork? Oh my gosh, going I can't imagine. This. And she's got a whole new fabric line coming out in the new year. Oh. She designed a whole fabric, another one. Like this was her fabric line. That's beautiful. Yeah, she's really awesome. Um, so that's exciting. That came in the mail. Um, okay, so you know what I did? I can only imagine. I bought this for a giveaway. We could even add it. I oh, know we don't have wow. two. Wow. Well, I'll have something. I don't know that I've ever bought a hide and hammer. I just think Jody, they're so nice. She's an artisan. Yeah. With what she does. Yeah. I'm sure I'm not, you know, telling most people about this maker, but hide and hammer makes the most beautiful and designs original bags. Yeah. Like she's using, she's making her own patterns of her yeah. own bag. Yeah. This is what she calls the small roll top. So what you can do. That's such a good size. Um, it turns into a little bucket. It's got a little handle here. So you it's can, all beautiful leather, beautiful wax canvas. It's all stamped. Or I don't know if it's waxed all the time, but she does ice dyed bags. But let me show you how you close it, you guys. You go. You roll. Yeah. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Roll, roll. And then you go like this and close it like this. They are extra special, extra special bags. And then this is your handle. Yeah. This is and if closed. it's rolled down, you can have it over your wrist and knitting as you go. Or a yarn bowl sitting beside you. And yeah. this is one of just a very few of what she makes. Yeah. Her collections are stunning, you guys. I just, I really wanted to highlight her as a maker. Um, this is all done it's by hand. It's been a long time since we. A single woman company. Yeah. With like incredible quality leather. Like I feel like you could make a purse out of the leather that she's using for these straps here. It's just yeah, gorgeous and beautiful. And um, so this is their logo. But at one point, and maybe she still does this, you could get things embossed on the handle. Like you could put your name or your initials or whatever. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, you know... But that We're, was also a long time ago, so I'm totally. not sure if they've done something else. That's beautiful. She does Joan. other leather goods, um, but I just wanted to highlight this is kind of her like She's over in the UK. I think the shape that kind of I think of when I think yeah. of Hide and Hammer is this shape. Yeah. Um, but it's oh look, she did ice dye ones, some ice dye ones. Anyway, and there it's are super little little pockets in here, right? For yeah, there are pockets in here. I love it. Different colors. She has some that are cinch top. Yeah, this is beautiful fabric. So beautiful. Beautiful fabric. How cool is that? Look at this one, you guys. It's more like a large top load um, cinch top wow. bag. This is a bigger one. Beautiful. Oh, it, it was a pre-order. Oh, so beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. UK. Good pick, Jode. Yeah. Love it. Okay, what else have you got? My last thing that I was so excited about, two books came out that I've been dying for. I was so excited about them both. This new embroidery on knits, maybe you've already seen it. I was dying for this to come out. Mm -hmm. It's, I wasn't sure what it, like, is there, are there patterns? No, but all the information you need to embroider any wool that you may have. So any knitted product. They give you all kinds of inspiration. The photography is so beautiful. I, step by step, step by step instructions. I feel like it adds, if this is you, you I think it adds that level of, not sophistication, it adds that level of flair to what and uniqueness, right? To your knitting. Like this, this is very embroidered. Maybe that's not you. Maybe you don't like that much. But 
you get to decide. You get to make whatever it is you want and there go through materials and yarns and um, all kinds of those things. I honestly am so tempted to just knit a very plain little sweater and embroider, like intentionally to embroider it. I agree. But they've got little swatches done here. Um, maybe I'll do mittens. How cute would that be? I mean, I... Yes, absolutely. Mittens would be adorable. A little hat, something like a yeah. flower on the brim. It doesn't need to be giantly elaborate, or it can be giantly elaborate. I love the look of that. It's I kind do of too. really, you know, it doesn't all have to be fussy. And I think um, it can add something really beautiful because a lot of us like just knitting stockinette stitch, right? But mm -hmm. this could add a little bit of zhuzh if you choose. I also love. This is done using silk ribbon. Beautiful. So they're embroidering with silk ribbon. Adds so much texture. I mean, things I've never thought of. Yeah. And I think uh, for some reason, you know, I am feel like there's an embroiderer inside of me at some point. Mm -hmm. So this book is beautiful. It's another one that just came out from Lina Publishing. They just did this one. So Good Lord. Gorgeous. And that's in our shop, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have that in our shop. Yeah. Um, we also got pom-pom, the new pom-pom back. Good. We had some copies of it. Boy, that, people loved that. The Farmer's Daughter Fiber yeah. Actually, issue. Actually, we, uh, we have line, the new Lina as well. And also these new ones, um, what else? New and classics. Our shop is loaded with books. Okay, good. You can find it under the books and magazine tab at the top of the Great. website. Yeah. Okay, you know what I did before I sh I did go to um, the Fiber Nook. Oh, lucky. You didn't invite me. Oh, you got some John Arvin. Oh, I love it. Oh, is that what I got? Yes. Okay, well, Roz just pointed it out to me. No, it's so good. Um, I said, what, should, what do I need to know? What's new, Roz? She's so fun. Yeah. Um, and she pointed this out to me. This is John Arbor. Arben. Look at that Arbin. Look at that Marl on I that. love it. Don't we love him? So for this his... this yarn is dyed, I believe, in the wool. Like they spin it. They mix it up or whatever. Yeah. Like how like what are the steps? It's in the roving and yeah. then spun with yeah. all the color, right? This is a DK weight. Oh, it might it's um Apple Door. Yeah. But this is a non-superwash base and it's 40% Devon Klaus wool, 40% Romney, 20 um, Exmoor blue face. It is such a nice non superwash. It is like woolly wool. Right. But just wool. It's not scratchy. It is a little bit toothy, but it is going to be a gourd. Whatever you knit out of this is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I could wear this easily next to oh, my totally. skin. Oh, totally. But you know what I thought was really beautiful? And I think we talked about this before. The marling, when you um, dyed in the wool form before it spun, you get such amazing color. This was one of many to choose from, you guys. They had some of the dark colors of the lay. Yeah. So beautiful. It's gorgeous. They also have a YouTube channel, John Arbin, that you can see you know, what's new in the shop. Mm. And they do have many, many of their own bases. They're beautiful. The yarn, the, everything they make is stunning. I thought that was pinky. We could add, add it to our giveaway. Sure. That's a great idea. Oh, I love it. This color is actually called Quench. And it's a, vi I believe, I I think it's a pretty popular color. Okay. This, I thought. If you like something like Sonder DK, this is going to yeah. feel not exactly the same, but right in there where they, yeah. I feel like that's a, a good kind scratch of test, yeah. right? Like it's very soft but woolly. Oh, soft but woolly. So beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. Um, okay, so this, which I thought was really cool. Um, this is um, Wool Trace DK. Also an amazing non-superwash wool. It is... Um, hold the phone. It is British... It is traceable, 100% British wool. But the cool thing about this is it has a QR code, and I'm going to scan it here right now, you guys. <gasps> it's traceable to the sheep. I love that. Who knew? Yeah, no. Did that's, you? No. I actually do. I follow Laxton's on Instagram, so I did know that this existed. I didn't know that Roz had it yet. But boy, do I love the choices of the yarns carried at the Fiber Nook. I'm so, such a fan. Fully traceable yarn made with 
purpose manufactured by Laxton. So it's just going to load for a sec. It's traceable back to the farm that they got the wool from. Yeah, I love right? that. Well, I mean, if you go to the UK, it's like so many people are, so many farms for sheep, right? Which right. I love. Lucky, lucky, lucky. So this was made from wool from the following six farms. So now wow. you can go wow. in and see these farms. They're totally animal. Um, you can trace, I don't know, right down to the animal, but certainly the That's farm. That's so beautiful. And boy, what a lovely peachy pink. Gorgeous. So then you can go here and learn about Gordon. And Gordon and his farm and his flock of sheep. It's really nice to see who you're supporting. I mean, these are all usually small family businesses, right? So I love that they're conglomerated and this yarn celebrates that. This is and so beautiful. This one's a bit different. This one is a different base. It's sheep soft DK. And this one is not traceable, but it's another um, dyed DK beautiful. So this is like wash. celebrating tiny farms. That, listen, and Laxton ha are committed to picking farms that are take pride in their flock, take pride in their animals. There's no animal cruelty. It's he's Gordon's been in it for 35 years. Okay, Fruity Knitting, who I've talked about many times before. They one of their episodes has a big long interview with Laxtons, mm. the owners. So I found it very interesting to hear about, I mean, that's their business, right? Milling all these um, UK wool yarns. Look at Rob's arm. <laughs> Jody's, Jody's out of here. She's going to England to find a sheep farmer. Hey, Rob. Um, his breed is New Zealand Romney, Romney, and his farm county is Hertfordshire. Well, there you go. I mean, probably not, but. We know what you mean. He has a keen interest in genetics. Rob has focused on breeding desirable traits from different flocks, such as yield and fiber length, to improve the quality of the fiber. Listen, if we don't support these small farms, we don't have yarn. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or yeah. we don't have, like, the grassroots of where this came yeah, from. It feels like, really good to support that. And this, where it's traceable... I got super excited. And so this is DK and it's Blueface, Lester, and Massam together. It's beautiful. It and feels it's phenomenal. Laxton's brand and they dye it their um, It feels yeah. and super good. And I love really pretty colors. that heathered look with that dimension that you're gonna yeah. get. Wow. Pretty A sweater in that. Yes. Please. So it was really fun to chat with Roz. She was just as passionate and as excited. Yes. She is the owner, her and Leslie, mm -hmm. of our local yarn shop, one of them, which is the Fiber Nook. So they've expanded. They have a big area to sit in. The shop is phenomenal. Yeah. If you come to Edmonton, you have to go. Yeah. Or just buy online. Yeah. Yeah. They're great. Do you have, and what else is going on? Do you have, Do you have anything else? Nope. I have one more thing and then I have Frankie Gray Fibers. Okay, good. Look what I bought you guys. 147 minutes. Holy moly. Look what I bought. I saw this peeking out of you and I just thought, that's amazing, and I love it. And tell me all about it. Well, um, I couldn't resist. It's from a company called... That's so beautiful. The... Ha Hazel Village. <gasps> oh, my God. This is and, so of course, beautiful. I had to get a cat. Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. One of the... They have lots of different animals to choose from, and they have lots of different um, boy and girl dolls. And somebody's knitting sweaters for them. Right. What? So, but there's all different things. Like, in here is a... Uh, picnic set. So, my where did you get this from? Um, online, but I saw Hazel it. Village. Yeah, but I, it was um, a TikTok. I follow them on TikTok, and then I went to their website. And let me just and look. You, this is Ada. Yeah, like everybody's got a little story. Yeah, and look at her little culottes. How about a ballet skirt for oh Ada? Oh my goodness! This is filled with. Did you buy extra clothes? Yeah. Oh, Jody, that's so beautiful. Okay, so what I wanted to do is this is from grandbabies. Let me see the knit. Here, you take Thank this. Thank you. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Okay. Um, hold the phone. This is a little book. Okay, so 
Hazel Village. I loved everything about them before I even purchased because you want to do a little bit of research, right? Like you want to have a little bit of background. Um, this is called, her name is Gracie Cat. And okay, so when you shop with us, you're supporting our supply chain around the world. We work with social enterprises that empowers artisan with dignified, skilled work and fair wages. We source all our product with care for earth and for the workers. We live by our values, providing full-time job with benefits, contributing to charities, and caring for families in the environment, yeah. minimizing waste in our production, sourcing recycled and low-impact packaging where possible. You guys. This is absolute treasure. So like, you can see absolute. from all over the world, they are supporting artisans and makers, and it just kind of what we stand for and what we love. Look at this. Someone totally hand-knitted this. Yeah, you guys, these are handmade. Oh my goodness. Look at this. And wow, I'm so, I'm like, the cat totally... needs a sun hat. So I just, oh, that's the same sweater. Yeah. I Isn't bought that doubles. Cute? I bought doubles by mistake. Each one is, oh, you guys, I got to show you this. Each one is carefully wrapped in this bandana. Look at that. How so cute. When you, when you got to open it, look at this. Jody, this is it's a backpack oh. slash purse with, with a, a cat. <laughs> I could I couldn't be with more thrilled. Little hand stitched face. Yes. So I'm picturing wow. my grandson or granddaughter or grandchildren playing with these. But until wow. then, they will sit on my counter. And I I'll, would too. Yeah. They're absolutely. And I'll gorgeous. be able to look at them. Wow. Well, I'm blown away. Totally blown away. Feel the cotton of this skirt. Every well, it's organic cotton. It says yes. everything's organic cotton. It, it's so thoughtful. The woman that created this company. Um, look, there's to like look the detail. Yeah, she's got little toes. I just the de attention to detail. Oh What's her God. Ada? Her and name this is Ada. And this is Gracie. And it says. Ada, she would be happy to tell you about the latest contraption she has made. A treehouse snack elevator, a tiny bridge for ants to cross the stream, and a homemade spyglass. So Ada's got a sense of adventure. Yeah. I love these. Oh, my so goodness. Much. Treasure, wow, right? It totally treasure. And packed so caringly. Oh, like, my God. It just came in a box, but packed so caringly. Oh, my goodness. That's just stunning. Yeah. Okay. I love stuff like that. I always Don't loved dolls. Love it? And we love dolls. Handmade too. like that. I can't even get over that. I have some Frankie Gray. We have two new colors. Oh, excitement. At Frankie Gray Fibers. We thought we needed um, some ready brown. Um, so we added sienna. Love. And cinnamon. I love it. Don't we love it? Yes, super much. Um, I brought a few colors so we could kind of just show where these colors I think would fall really beautifully because I'm all, it's funny how your mood change, oh, totally. changes with seasons. Yes. And not that knitting colors doesn't work all year, but for me, I don't know that feeling of fall, the feeling of quieter colors. Yeah. Just like coziness. I mean, for some reason when it's bright and hot out, I want, Bright colors, right? And mm -hmm. now you're right. I have a whole other color palette that I'm I want to knit with. That's gorgeous, Jode. See, so we could do. I mean, blues pair so beautifully with the red. Well, blue and, and orange browns, on the color right? wheel. Um, totally. So this is indigo, and then this is your black cherry. It's so beautiful. Um, so there's those two. But what if we did? We were talking about. Um, Lavender haze, right? Yep, I or, love that. Of course, classically, whisper. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Whisper's amazing. But what else is really pretty is Lucky Lavender. <gasps> I love Lucky Lavender. It's like a little kiss of pink and purple, and it's yeah. such a good, like I love that combo. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, super, okay. super nice. So that's that. But let me show you when it, when we switch to some blues. And of course, you can like any and all combinations. But look when you pop cinnamon totally in with blues and taupes. Yeah. 
This is Cape Cod. That's beautiful. This is Taupe. And this is Sky High. Taupe is really rich. Taupe is beautiful. You know, isn't it? like, is it brown? Is it gray? I love it. What is it? Brown or both? Yeah. It's a little, it's yeah, really, it's, it's really a little bit of both. Okay, but look at Midnight. Oh, that's a good one. Look if we brought Midnight in. Of course, blue and orange are across the color wheel from each yes. other. So if we brought Midnight in. So good. Oh, I love that one too. What's Gingerbread. that Gingerbread. Oh, I love it. Gingerbread is really pretty. Gingerbread's so good with all the same ones you're sharing. And Ooh. then <gasps> let's take away this and let's leave. This is Siren and Eucalyptus. It's so good. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So there's so many combinations you could do. Like, I mean, I love when color combinations are a little more unexpected. But it depends what you're making, right? Like if it depends, okay. like gorgeous. I see shawl for sure right there or a sweater. Who knows? That work all so well together. But you can like brighten it or mute it sort of in the same color families, which I really like. I mean, I feel like we're so lucky these days where you can just like pull and play with color. I love and you always said like a dark color and then a pop of something and then, a you know, like. There has to be kind of a method. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't have to be. Um, I do love that, though. Instead of them all being bright, I like a dark and a bright. Yeah. Right? I, I Yeah, I totally get what you're saying. <gasps> Those teals and that black cherry. Where's Cape Cod? Oh, yeah, Cape Cod. So pretty. Oh, right? Yeah. Anyway. And I'm a huge, I mean, all of those. I am not, and when someone says, what's your favorite color? I'm not able to pick. I really am not able to pick. It's such a mood thing, like you were saying with the seasons. It's also like, what am I feeling that day? Mm -hmm. Right? Maybe I wouldn't pick a certain color for a sweater if I had to knit it again because I'm feeling something else. So it's very, like, that time. Oh, right? super good, yeah. Gingerbread, mm -hmm. Midnight, Cape Cod, and Whisper. Mm -hmm. But then... You could switch out all of these colors, you guys, play so well together. Oh, you guys must have so much fun do doing that. We have so much fun. Yeah, black cherry. And what's this? Cinnamon. It's really pretty. With like linen. Mm -hmm. Or even this. Mm -hmm. So good. <gasps> yes, that's really good. Really pretty. Oh, I love Jody, it. Jody, you're so lucky. What a fun job. Hard, okay. hard, but fun. What else? I think that's it in my notes. I think that's it for me, too, as I'm sort of looking around. Everything in my notes. Check, check. Yeah. Oh, this is my list, you guys, of colors. Wow. Yeah. Love it. I'm pooped today. Really pooped. You know what? I couldn't get to sleep before, too. I saw 2 o'clock on the clock I was last awake night. at 4. The worst. For the day? No, thank goodness. I, but I was reading for half an hour. Anyway. Why? Because you lay there and couldn't go back to sleep? I was reading because Georgia. it helps put me back to sleep. Hi, G. Hi. Of course she comes out right at the end when it's lunchtime. Right. She's probably going up to start lunch for me. Thank you, Georgia. I appreciate it. You're so nice. Appreciate it. You're the best. I um, love it when she cooks for me. We're trying to barbecue as much as we Vincent, can. Vincent, hello. Last few days. <gasps> Hi. Um, is it still hot in Atlanta? What are the temperatures like? Um, I'm sure it is, right? Isn't it always hot there? So yeah, our temperatures are mid. Are and you're barbecuing a lot? I'm so overcooking. I am over it. That sounds like it's on your street. What? The sirens. Late oh, yeah, to the party. Close. Yes, we can start over. Um, oh, Niagara Falls, USA. Hi, Bonnie. I was just at the Canadian side. So fun. The Canadian side is fun. Yeah. Yeah, for Great some views. reason. So now today, I'm crazy tired. Yeah. Do you have work this afternoon? Yes. I, I have work this afternoon. Yeah, I'll have dye right waiting for me, but not too oh. many. It's just a couple of hours. That's okay. And then I can chill. And then I want to get back to my I sweater. I have mostly computer work, so that's good. Here? 
I mean, not good, but yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm back in the office too at the J-O-B. Is there somebody who formats patterns for people? Is that a job? Well, you can, you can go to a graphic designer and have them format like a template for you. Mm. And then you would just put the pattern in, right? But my none pattern, of the extras. Oh, it takes me so long. Do you want me to <gasps> Darlene, help you? Darlene. Darlene is also um, one of my test slash hey. sample knitters. Um, feels like a cozy fall day. Yeah. Vincent. Okay. Are you going to Rhinebeck? Don't tell me if you are. He is. <laughs> I'm sure he is. I'll be okay. I'm, I'm okay. But I, do, I will miss being able to give that once a year hug to so many people. Is it really next weekend? That's what somebody said. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure. And Cake-a-Palooza. Yeah. <laughs> Am I saying it wrong? Yeah. What is I think, it? I think it's just Cake-palooza, but maybe it's Cake-a. <laughs> Cake-a. Cake-a-palooza. It's the tooth. I'm listen, lisping. Listen, it doesn't matter what it's called. It's going to be super fun. I hope people are going and going to have a great time and pick up something fun. It'll be great. Great, great, great. Are we going to be, we're not going to be back in two weeks. Why? Because we'll be away. Oh, we're going to be That's three the week weeks. we're away. So we'll be three weeks. Maybe three weeks and then two one weeks to get us back on track. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, I forgot about that. Cake Palooza. That's so funny. You know, if I could be teleported, I would be, say yes to Ryan back. Totally. It's a it's a bit of a hassle travel day that's not as quick and easy as going other places. Which and is listen, bummer. I could do that, but then Tuesday we're leaving. Like we'd come home for one day, repack and leave. Do you know what I mean? I still think there should be a professional job where that's your job to attend knitting events. Well, that is. We could figure you could it be out. be a teacher. I mean, it's, it is physically possible, but it's like, where does the work fit in? And, you know, paying the bills and all that stuff. We want that to be the work. I'm so fun. I'm so glad. I mean, you used to be like, I don't have FOMO. I don't have to go everywhere. And then it's like, once it's you go always, and you yeah. meet people, it's like, okay, now I miss, I miss seeing everybody. I don't have to step foot on the ground. Oh, yes, I want to see the I animals. would like to hug a sheep mm. and hug the, you know, sheep people like mm -hmm. Amanda and Tammy from Wing and a Prayer. Like, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it'll be a great time. We were there last year. Maybe we go again next year. Maybe so, we do it an alternate year thing. Yeah. Thank you, Star, for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you, Show Fairy. Show Note Fairy. That's for sure. That's for sure. Hmm. All right, everybody. Come see us on Instagram. I'm There's procrastinating a fun because giveaway. I Fun giveaway happening. More. And we're going to have a, a Halloween giveaway, too. Maybe we'll start that one Monday. This will be revealed next time. Yes. More info soon. Mm -hmm. More info soon. Amanda, we will see you so soon. Star, we see you in three weeks. Somebody said we need to come to Vogue Knitting Live in New York. I know. I hear such good things about that, too. That is a busy one, too, isn't it? Yeah. Who doesn't want to go to New York? All right. New York in January. New York. Oh, I've been there. That's the only time I've been there. Oh, my gosh. It's chilly, but it's not Canada, so it wasn't as bad as yeah. home can be. So Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's lots of fun things to do. Okay, everybody, take care of yourself. Sending you tons of love. Keep on making something amazing. I think I'm going to have my striped sweater for, no, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have it done. You could. Okay. You could. Have when a, you focus. Have the best few weeks. Yes. We'll meet you back here. Three weeks. Okay. Okay. Bye.